Yeah, you're right. You got to press it twice. All right, we live. All right. All right, so the Longs, we got a Hebrew Israelite. All right. And every week, we prophesy the downfall of the wicked kingdom and the deliverance of the children of Israel. You know, but before it, before we do that, we always give praises to the Most High and His Son in the uh, in the true language. The last rock of dies, the holy tongue. All right, we say, "Call, call, Elijah, Elijah, Yahweh, Yahweh, Double line to the elder apostles, GMS, that teach well and rule well, and uh, shalom on to you, Akim, and our wife and the children that believe in sincerity and truth on the four corners of the earth. Today, we're going to get into the book of uh, Second Ezra, all right? But, um, you know, something got on my spirit. Let's go here instead. Somebody get uh, Revelations from uh, Luke 17 and 26. We're going to read from there all the way to 30. <clears throat> all right, because you got this whole... Yep. Um, right here in the city of Jacksonville, they got this, uh, this festival called the Orange Crush Festival where all these different um, cities come here to, the, to Jacksonville and they basically have what you call like a freakness, you know? <laughs> basically basically living a the, living the rendition of the Roman Empire. All right, showing you the mindset that our people are in, man. Nothing but violence and murder. But all and in the midst of that, all hell is breaking loose. Okay, but the Lord said there's no new thing under the sun. We've seen it before. Mm-hmm. All right, so uh, somebody bring this out. Let's see what the spirit is. Well, this is uh, Luke chapter 17, verse 26. Yeah. It says, And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. Right, so just like it was in the days of Noah, just like it was in the days of Ezra, in the days of uh, Elijah, in the days of Ezekiel. All right, when the, when the Lord had to deliver us, so shall it be in the day of uh, what, what day of the Lord, right? Oh, the days of Son of Man, right? Yeah. It's gonna be what caught off guard, unexpected. Yeah. Verse right. 20, like, yeah, keep going over to 30. Yeah. Verse 27 to Luke 17. It says, They did eat, they drink, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all, right? That's just like with Adam. When the Lord, uh, Adam was supposed to live forever. But then when, when the Lord put uh, death on Adam, you know, for being for being wicked, he said, what, he's going to die now. You know, before that, we, would, we didn't even know what death was. But as that was to Adam, the Adamites, <clears throat> that's what we're really talking about, the Adamites. As it was to them, the same as the judgment was to Noah. You know, with the flood. And now we got another judgment coming up with fire, the second death. Oh. All right, so it's going to be unexpected. Uh, that was it? Oh, uh, I'm on verse 28. Uh, verse 28 of Luke chapter 17, it says, Likewise, also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone. From heaven and destroyed the mold. You know? All right. So the same thing happened with Lot. All right. The same day that he was getting taken, uh, taken out of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah when he got destroyed, that's when all of a sudden the people didn't want to pay attention. So it's going to be too late. The same thing about to happen here. But what happened with Lot? The Lord cared about Lot so much that he sent angels in there to get Lot out of there. Him and, mm. him and his household, just like Noah and his household. Mm. So it's not just about the destruction, it's also about the deliverance as well. All right, showing that the Lord will protect his elect. All right, go ahead, brother. Um, this is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 1. It says, uh, verse 2, it says, It is better to go in the house of mourning than to go in the house of feasting. For that, for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay will lay the lay to heart. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. Please ask me seven. Okay. So yeah, man, it's better to go into what? The house of mourning than to the house of mirth. All right. Why? Because in, in this society, everything that they're happy about and they're celebrating is what? These holidays, wickedness, that they call holy days. There's, there's sports, which comes from what? The Roman Empire. 
that was set up as a torment on the slaves, certain others, the ones that were in servitude, all right, were sentenced to death. But now they glorify it. You know, look at the MMA. Look at, uh, what's his name? Nate Diaz. He's going in and get bloody all the time. Damn, they're killing themselves. They barely talk. Talk retarded. You no know, damaging themselves. Look at uh, all the boxers. You know, what else they celebrate? The money. And God they trust. It's all wickedness. It's all the house of uh, mirth. So the Lord said, in this time, it's better than going to the house of mourning. You know, why? Because we mourn. Uh, we in the spirit of Yahusha, because Yahusha is one. Really, our people are mourning, you know, because we lost our king, Yahusha. This is Hebrews chapter 11, verse 7. Right, and we should be mourning because we betrayed our God, Yahweh. All right, so we should be shamed over here in America, real quick. We should be ashamed over here in America and not <clears throat> uh, boasting like we came over here on cruise ship. You know, we came over here on slave ship. All right, go ahead, brother. Somebody put it on, on social media. As long as we in hell, uh, America, we still in hell. That was my son. This is Hebrews chapter 11, verse 7. By faith, Noah being warned of Yahweh of the things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to, save, to, the, to the saving of his house, by which he commanded the world and became heirs of the righteous, hmm. righteousness, which is by faith. Right, man. So that's what he did. We got to prepare our house. You, know, you prepare your own household and the house of David, which is the hopeful elect, you know, or the brothers that's around you. Mm -hmm. And uh, yep, and also Noah was preaching. Mm -hmm. All right, he went out there and taught on the street just like us. Mm -hmm. But he had to be moved by that spirit to do so. And if I may add on, you know, hey, Noah was moved by faith, you know what I'm saying, to get out there and, 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 and teach what he believed in, man. Not yet seeing the drop of rain, but yet he was getting out there prophesying about it. You know, the same way, same way we're going to this day. Right. We, this prophesied for 200 million missiles to hit this place, but guess what? Shit, we ain't seen no missiles. You have a rust, I won't get the feeling, but hey, we believe that they're going to come. So we get out here and profess our faith on that. Uh, quick. Right, because faith, faith is the action word. And at that time, they didn't see it rain. They uh -huh. never saw it rain before. It was due, the dew from the earth. They used to moisten the earth. You know, but now, hey, World War Three. Mm -hmm. Nuclear fire. Uh, uh, I, I, I um, the second Peter chapter one, verse twenty. It says, "Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scriptures is of any private interpretation, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost." Man, so hey, it was the Holy Spirit of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh that got Noah, and that's that followed the same uh, suit as well to get up out here and, and, and push forth that. Uh, 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 the truth of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. You know, right. so therefore, hey, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, put that fire upon our ass, all right, to get us moving, man. Right, man. No, we ain't come up with this ourselves, man. Like for lightning, I'm doing, trying to start a community. <laughs> you know, this is the word of the Heavenly Father, man. Written, written through the minds of men, prophets, righteous men. All right. Um, you got one? All right. <laughs> uh, the bar. Come huh. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 21. It says, uh, for after says, for after that in the wisdom of Yahweh, the world by wisdom do not Yahweh, it pleased Yahweh by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. So uh, Noah was, uh, not only he, he feared the Lord, but he, he went out to preach, and he preached 120 years, prophesying, that the Lord is going to bring a uh, uh, judgment, and by him doing so, by him preaching, he he also uh, saved his family by being moved by the Holy Spirit, man. Right. Because it was important for him to uh, to preach uh, the Lord's uh, word to warn them. Yeah. And, that, <clears throat> and what that does is this, man. That sets it up to where nobody can say, uh, nobody can say they got themselves to the kingdom. You know what I mean? It's all about the will of Yahweh, about to know shot. All right? You can't say I kept the laws perfectly. You know, um, I destroyed this many Edomites. All right? I left that wicked woman you wanted me to leave. Uh, whatever. You know, I followed the truth. I went out and taught people. No. He said, what? By his by his will, will be delivered. The foolishness of preaching. He set that up. All right? Um, 
Revelation is one and three. So we become his word. And he, what did he say about his word? He said his word will stand forever. This is Revelation chapter one, verse three. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Right. What time is it? What, what time is at hand? The time of Jacob's troubles? The time when Esau has an end? And wickedness has an end? All right. The time when um, we can be delivered. All right. This is Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 6. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will uh, render unto her in recompense. Right. So we're in a time of the Lord's vengeance on what? America, man. Babylon. And our people love this place. They love everything about it. You know? And you see what they're doing, getting that, you know? <laughs> and uh, only, the only thing, it's all about time. It's all about time. Time mm -hmm. tells the story. You know, even with that, it's going to take a couple years to do to see what's up with it. All right, that's the trick. But, um, go ahead. Uh, Second Peter, chapter 3, verse 8. But, beloved, be not ignorant of those things that one day with the Lord is as a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness. But as long suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to the re come to repentance. But the day of the Lord struck it. They're all meaning all the elect. All right, that goes with Amos uh, chapter nine. Um, you know that one that the least grain shall not fall upon the earth. All right. So what and what's repentance? Turn back to the Father. Okay. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. In which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Right, man. I mean, he, 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 he asked that these women got. <laughs> you know, that chip, their money, all their fiat currency, everything they're building up in this place, man. Your cars, your houses, you know, all that wicked woman you're chasing. You know, a lot of, a lot of dicks. Or that, that wicked man that the woman chasing. You know what I mean? A woman chasing a dude like Lil Wayne. Uh, you know what I'm saying? They like all that. All right. All right. Um, but the Lord said he's going to destroy them. Uh, like, oh, you got to go on for it. Verse 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Right. And that word conversation means the action. So in all your actions and in your speech, what type of person you think you should be in the midst of all that? You know? Can you be perfectly righteous? No, but you should be a believer. You should be a faithful person. You know, you should you should uh operate as, as, under the ways of the righteous, follow the righteous way. All right, uh, the same God that made the judgments in the past. He's making the same judgments now. Um, this Galatians four and three. Yeah, even, even so we when we were children, we're in bondage under the elements of the world. But when the fullness of the time was come, Yahweh sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. Mm -hmm. I just brought that out when we're dealing with time. You know? <clears throat> but when the fullness of the time was come, you know, that's when the Lord ultimately, because only the Heavenly Father knows that time. You know, not even the son of man, you know, but hey, when that time comes, that, that, that son of man, he's going to descend with a shout, man, and, and that judgment is, is going to be uh, hey, put forth. Yeah, and, and uh, that's right, we said time. And yeah, the, the, the time that the fullness has come. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. But we're, we're bondage under the elements of these world, under the elements of this world, um, like the previous verse um, stated. Even so, when we were children, we were, were in bondage under the elements of the of the world. And the brothers brought out previous uh, scriptures pertaining to the elements. Man, the things of this world are made up of the elements, which ultimately will be done away with. Right? Mm -hmm. and, and speaking on the foundation, when the Lord sent Yahweh to, to, to prepare the foundation, that's in contrast to when the Lord sent um, who was that Ezra? 
He's saying Ezra and Zerubbabel to, to what? To rebuild the foundation and the altar. But then we have to stop building it for a time until the time of Nehemiah, uh, where the Lord had the, the temple uh, fully built with the wall. So in, in, in dealing with time, spiritually, this would be like the time of Nehemiah, where we are working to build the wall, seal up the wall, seal up the gates, seal up the breaches. Uh, you know, but but the foundation had to be laid first. What happened when when Ezra's and uh, Zerubbabel was sent by Cyrus the Great, and he told them to what build up build the altar first mm -hmm. before they built the, the uh, foundation stone for the temple. Mm -hmm. So the Lord was sent to build us up first, according to Daniel chapter nine, where he says, "What to, to anoint the most holy?" Uh, you know, build us up first, right? The, um, the Shire, and then set the foundation with Peter, uh, and then now come and build up the walls, and that's it. You know, so so building the altar first, giving sacrifice, and now when the altar was built with Hawashai, we give our we give our bodies a living sacrifice. We able to give sacrifice to God, you know, and then and, 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 uh, yeah, they start the foundation stone, you know, so yeah. Mm. Uh, the tabernacle of David. You know, the tabernacle of David. You know what I'm saying? You got to start, start the foundation first. Right. Because that foundation of prayer, you know what I'm saying? Everything else, everything else collapsed, you know? Yep. And then Bardia, the imposter, Persian, he wasn't a Persian, he was an imposter. He had he made them stop building. And then in 520, they, they started building again. Right. with Derek. So 70 AD, we had to stop building. And now we're building again. Spiritually. Spiritually. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the same spirit because then well, how would we build them? We we're building with brick in one hand and swords in the other. Swords in the other. That's right. <laughs> and he said he said everyone that had a mind to work. So you had to have the mind to work, the will to do the work. <laughs> able -bodied body man. Huh? An able body man. <laughs> able body man. Teach those that are able to teach others. Preach up. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, Romans 13, verse 11. It says, in that knowing the time that, it, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. But now it's our salvation nearer than we, when we believe. Shalom. It says, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. I was going, I'm just going into that because the scripture does say the measure of time good today in itself. And always, you know, be aware and observing the time, man. You know, because our salvation is definitely there, man. Y'all is shot. It's, 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 that, it's almost at the door. Right. And they're waiting for us, man. But so the, the scripture says to cast out the, the, the works of darkness, man. But the scripture says, it says to be holy, to be set apart. So we're supposed to be set apart from this world. and set apart from the wickedness, man. He said measure the time diligently within it. So we mean, have diligence as you're measuring this time. Don't look for it like, oh, I got a, I got a little bit of time. Oh, this prophecy ain't happened yet. This prophecy ain't happened yet. No. Before these things even happen, we got to speak about it before they even happen. So we must the time diligently, hastening the day. Because mm -hmm. what did the brothers uh, bring up? We are no longer in bondage from the elements of this world. So we don't let these things of this world distract us anymore. Because we have, we have to give due diligence to make our calling. Like and if you, if you do get distracted, you get you admit it and you uh, correct yourself. Huh? You nice. get back on the path because we're human. You know, you're going to get distracted, man. Huh. You know, you're going to get distracted by family, anything, emotions. You're trying to figure your own mind out yeah. sometimes, all kind of stuff, man. But you got to get back on track. You need it. And that's the race. That's the, you know, that's the part. Uh, go ahead, brother. Now, this is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 1. Uh, I will stand upon my watch and set upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and making the plain upon tables that he may run that reader for. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Right. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Right. Can you start from the top? I'm going to stop you. One? Yeah. Uh, I mean, no, from where you was at. Uh, uh, three. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. Oh, oh yeah, I'm bad one. One, I will stand upon my watch. Right, so it'll go boom. So we are only only one that can stand upon their watch is the one that's in their lot. They were prophets in the old, they're prophets now. All right. So we stand upon our watch. When is that? Whenever the Lord put the spirit on you to do it. 
It could be in the day, night, afternoon, right? Anytime. Go ahead, brother. And set me upon the tower. Right. Go ahead. The tower represents your outside. Okay. Go ahead. And we'll watch to see what he will say unto me. Yep. So we're going to watch to see what the Lord is saying from the scriptures, from the prophets, from the brothers. You know, what time we in. How, uh, go ahead. And what I shall answer when I am reproved. So what are we supposed to answer? I repent. That's what we're supposed to answer. I repent. And the same thing that Sam, Samuel, um, uh, what was the name? Eli, what he said to Sammy. He said, yo, next time you hear that voice calling you again, say, hey, I hear you, Lord. That's what we both said. Uh, right? And that's for forgiveness. You know what I mean? Uh, once we saw somebody bearing the urine and doing swimming, which is the knowledge and wisdom, mm -hmm. once we see that, we, we're able to repent. You know? All right. Um, that was it. He said, what? It's just cheap and not live. And not live, man. All the prophecies are happening and scaring the hell out of people. But as they happen, they come up with their own narratives. You see the chariot, they say it's little green men. Or is it? Mm. It was it in the Bible? Wasn't it in the Bible? Like, you can't remember all that stuff. Mm. It's pride. Mm. It's pride, man. The demons. All the demons crowd me mind. And you got people like uh, uh, Nazaliah over there. Uh, what's it called? Israelites trying to deny. Mm. God. Saying, God. That two, saying that two thirds doctrine don't exist. You know what I'm saying? Um, you see the World War Three kicking off. You hear Esau, Jake, Esau and Jake talking about World War Three. Oh, but for some reason, they don't think it's going to happen. So they think preparing for it, you should store up food. Oh, if I may add on, that, that's that uh, spirit of, uh, of, 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 of you be a part of the devil. All right, it's pertaining to Esau, but hey, two thirds of our people as well, man. Being blinded up, uh, up under the God of this world, you know, like Psalms 49, 59, and 11, correct me if I'm wrong. All right, they see this thing going on forever and ever. That way, it won't stop uh, all this shit. Yeah, they think keep they going on and on. They want to, they, they, they feel this comfortable, they feel comfortable in their captivity. You know? uh, matter of fact, like Nate the Slick, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like the brother was speaking on, the elder was speaking on, man. Yeah, all the prophecies come to pass, but yet you don't want to uh, take heed to them and want to admit that. Wrong or, or, or acknowledge that these prophecies will come to pass, man. But it's my favorite one. It's June, ain't no microchip, you know what I'm saying? Which is your anniversary, man. It's June to this day, right now. And guess what? The speak, uh, 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 speaker got them uh, nation in. So June, let me bring that up. So. Right. Uh, um, this is uh, this is Psalm chapter 49 and 11. Their inward thoughts is that their houses shall continue forever. Mm -hmm. And their dwelling places to all generations, they call their lands after their own names. That's the pride. That's the pride of the, uh, the heathen man, particularly the so-called white man, the devil, the Christian counterpart of spiritual demon Satan. They think that their houses will continue forever because mm. of the technology they have, because of the financial might that they have, that their uh, that their kingdom is going to um, prolong. And that's the uh, thought of two thirds of our people as well, man. They right. believe in man, ultimately, and not the heavenly Father, man, the Creator. All right, and believing in man, they believe that man is going to be able to defend them and stop the Lord's plan, which is, which is straight vanity, man. And, uh, blasphemy, the man ain't stopping with the Lord about the dream. This is Job chapter 20. I'm gonna start at verse 4. It says, Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment? Though his, ex though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach into the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? All right, Khan, man, you can it to Esau, man, but hey, two-thirds of our people as well, they're not going to be cut off forever, but hey, shit, they're going to uh, uh, know that, same as know that the death by pain, man, by falling after Esau. It says, if you're not the effect, a person needs to choose none of his ways, but guess what? They're doing the complete opposite, man. Shit, envy and the person choosing all of his ways, you know. <laughs> and 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 it's funny you say that because back to uh, Israelites try to deny it. all the ones that perish on this side have no way of making it into the kingdom according to their doctrine. Mm -hmm. According to their doctrine, so that just that just you see how like when you're talking like nobody knows what the hell you're talking. About. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy because Moses made a promise that all of Israel shall be saved. And, and and he's a, he's an author of perfect balance, but you can see the imbalancing of their doctrine because they don't want to believe in reincarnation. Reincarnation is real; it's all throughout the scriptures. 
Yahweh was trying to scope on it pertaining to John being Elijah. Sure. All right, mm -hmm. so you can't deny the truth. All right, so the, so so at the end of the day, you're going to see it get worse and worse and worse. That's why it is our job to be diligent and pushing this truth because they're going to continue to push their lives like the person that said they're of their father the devil. Right. Uh, real quick, what they say, live forever, right? Is that they think their kingdom is going forever. Huh. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing they said in Nebuchadnezzar. All right, real quick, come around real fast. This is uh, Daniel chapter 2, verse 1. And in the second year of the reign of Nebuchadnezzar, which was what? <clears throat> second year. 605? 604. 604. 604. <laughs> he started ruling 605, so the second year would be 604. Dang. Huh. All right, he, uh, Daniel dreamed a dream wherewith his spirit was troubled and his sleep, following oh, Nebuchadnezzar, dreamed a dream, and his sleep break from him. Then the king commanded to call all the magicians and the astrologers and the sorcerers and the Chaldeans for to show the king his dream. So they came and stood before the king. And the king said unto them, I have dreamed a dream, and my spirit was troubled to know the dream. Now this is the point. Then spake the Chaldeans to the king in Syria. He said, what? O king, live forever. Tell thy servants the dream, and we will show thee the interpretation. So every time they spoke to the kings back then, they would say, live forever, rule forever, reign forever. And you see what happened to Nebuchadnezzar. You see what happened to the Babylonian king. That's the same thing Esau saying today. Mm -hmm. Live forever. All right, go ahead, brother. Uh, this, is, this is Psalms chapter 2. I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? So because these people and the heathens, I right, start with Esau and these uh other nations that think they're going to come in rulership and power uh, once uh, America be taken down, you know, they imagine a vain thing, man. The Lord said that the next kingdom to um, to be established is the nation of Israel, man, starting mm -hmm. with the elect. Wow. All right, but you have our people in this society thinking that their, their business is going to constantly go on, thinking that uh, uh, things is going to uh, go back to normal, and things is not, man. All right, uh, America is, is uh, starting to look as a, a third one third world uh, country, you know, that's that's what it's looking like, man. All these different cyber attacks, the cyber attacks uh, uh, on the water, next is going to be on the food and, 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 and so forth and more, man. Right. Hey, you remember what happened the never night as he ran him out into the wilderness? The Lord turned him, you know, to had him acting like a man, act like a beast, like an animal. Well, this, this is what this idiot was saying before that happened. Uh, this is about uh, never night, all right? Um, Daniel 4 and 3. How great are his signs and how mighty are his wonders. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and his dominion is from generation to generation. It's talking about your house. He says, I, never to never, but it's not supposed to say never to never, it's supposed to say uh, never because that was the grandson of never to never. I, never to never, was at rest. See, that's Esau, they're at rest. I was at rest in my house and flourished in my palace. Hmm. And I saw a dream which made me afraid. And the thoughts upon my bed and the visions of my head troubled me. Uh, that's why they got the uh, UFO, um, UFO uh, documents and, and, and shows on yeah. 60 Minutes doing a, um, you know, special, specials on UFOs right now. They're scared. They're scared. Oh. <laughs> you know? Right. So all these nations are at rest. And who was it? Who was, it was Nebuchadnezzar that actually seen the angel when they threw um, Hananiah, Azariah, and Mishael in, into the um, fiery oh, furnace. Oh. And they seen the Hamashai go into the fiery furnace and deliver them out. Mm -hmm. You know, of okay. course, you know, he, 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 he moved in his drums when they seen that. Yep. Yep. That was never, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Belshazzar? Belshazzar? Yeah, Belshazzar. He said it on himself. <laughs> this is uh, Zechariah chapter 1. He said, At rest, start at verse 11. Hey, man, go ahead, bro. Yeah, it says, <laughs> And they answered the angel of Yahweh that stood amongst the uh, myrtle trees and said, We have walked to, to and fro through the earth, and behold, all the earth sitting still. It is at rest. There you go. Right, man. So the whole earth, talking about the heathens, are at rest. 
that cold earth and that rest while we're in, in bondage. All right? And then uh, uh, they tax it. We pay taxes to the big G. Yeah. They ain't here in America. We pay taxes to the elites. They get fractions. Uh, what do you call that? Um, fractional reserve currencies? Yeah. That's what they take. Fractions from your debit. When you debit something, you get three dollars charge, they go to them. <laughs> you buy something at the register, a little taxes from it, they go to them. Seven cents to the dollar. Yep. Yeah. 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 Jeremiah 51 and 12 set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon, make the watch strong, set up the watchmen, prepare the ambushes. You know, they prepare the ambushes, man, because ultimately, hey, the Lord, he's about to enter into the house of the people. Yep. You know, and the standard is the book, you know, the law, statutes, commandments of the Lord. All right. And make the watch strong, man. The spirit of the prophets is subject to the prophets, and we are supposed to be on upon our watch, man. Measuring the times diligently, like the brother brought out previously. All right, and, and measuring things according to prophecy, man. Watching the prophecies come to pass, man, and, and knowing what's what prophecies is left, and, and, and what prophecy have to come to pass ultimately for the Lord to show up. Yep, and strengthening the bricks, he's strengthening mm -hmm. the wall. You're putting the wall together, just like in the times of Nehemiah. Brick by brick, it had to be fashioned a certain way according to the, the blueprint mm. of the carpenter. Mm. And the carpenter, in this sense, is your Irish. Tempered mortar, you know, uh, having yeah, that strong fence defense, you know, not having the untempered mortar that's talking about in uh, Jeremiah from uh, the uh, State of Guns, if you want 13 guns. And so, hey, you, you want that tempered mortar, that way that wall, that, that, that foundation can be strong, man. you know, brick not falling out of place. Just like the brother, um, I'll call, this is First Corinthians chapter three, verse twelve. I mean, from verse eleven, it says, "For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Yahweh Shah Mashiach." So Yahweh Shah is that foundation. You cannot lay any other foundation than the foundation that was already set up. You got to build on the blueprint. You can't come and add to the blueprint because if you start adding to the blueprint, that's just like adding to the words of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. It's the same way we're supposed to build. A certain brick that's supposed to go in a certain spot. You're supposed to use the, the correct mortar, not the untempered mortar. Mm -hmm. Right. Everybody can't be the cornerstone. Uh -huh. and, and also, just to add on, scripture also tell you how to build on another man's foundation. Man. So hey, that's just head start right there. there go. And what happened? What happened when they when they put when they finally put that last few bricks on the foundation, man? They said we was our people were screaming and yelling so much that it scared the heathens. <laughs> it scared the nations around us, man. Them, them same nations, the Arab, the Syrians, the Hamites, you know, a lot of the Nubian tribes, they all try to stop us from rebuilding. Uh, that's what they got. <laughs> like, old Cam Malone and stuff out here. He's a politics. <laughs> yeah, trying to uh, lure our people back into the Christian mindset, you know, yeah. to prod them from this truth, you know, trying because they scared of this truth. Trying to stop us from building now. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. And, they're trying to stop us from flourishing and going the right way. That's why they make a billion dollar industries with these uh, worldly nations like Africa, India. They get paid to, to cut their hair off balls and send it over there. Mm -hmm. You know, they get paid to send material uh, materials over here to us that's wicked. You know, they what's what's that? The port uh, that get that gets um shipped in from um, overseas. You know what I mean? Uh, what else? Yeah, because in Africa, vegetation, shit like that. So, like, yeah, but in Africa, they were describing how the pigs they sit on, they use pigs to, uh, to basically uh, get rid of the trash. They put pigs on top of uh, trash hills, yeah, instead of burning it up and putting it in the ozone layer like we do over here in America. They take pigs and put it on the uh, trash hills, and the trash hills increase over time. Ooh, that's so yeah. smart. Yeah, it's ultimately, you need trash. That's what they put the beef for. Mm -hmm. Esau take that and feed it to our people and put it in the pill and the uh, prescription and stuff like that. Yeah. You uh -huh. know what I mean? And children's candy and shit. Yeah, everything is about patents. You mm -hmm. know, so they, they are getting money off of patents, man. But um, let's keep going. Spirit. Where's up? That was you. Uh, this is uh, first, no, first Timothy chapter 6, verse 17. It says, Stars them that are rich in this world that they be not high minded. Lord, right. so, trust. You, so, so you can be rich, but you gotta be humble with it, man. You know, be lowly. All right. Joe's a perfect example. Yeah, that. you have to be like this. I don't. That's not what it means. You have to be able to humble yourself and still do the work. You know, then spirit of Joe. 
It says, let them be not high minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living power. Now, how about you, Yahweh Shah, who give us, us richly all things to enjoy? Right. You see a lot of Jake, what they say. Now, I just got to get this money, man. All my kids taken care of, that's all that matters to me. You know, I don't care what they got in it. I'm going to just take it. You know what I mean? I just got to make this money, bro. What else? That's, that's how they are. All right, bro. Yeah, man, but you know, when it comes to this truth, they neglect it. You know, like Dame, Dame Dad, P. Diddy. He said, uh, P. Diddy, what's his name? P. Diddy, right? Honeycomb. Yeah, he got all these different names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he like literally changed, he, he legally changed his name to love. No. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. He said he'll do it. Yeah. He's yeah. yeah. on the 85 South Show. Uh, used to be on the block call. You know what he said? He said, yeah, I think. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, he was on, um, he was talking to Mark Zuckerberg the other day. He was talking like a straight up eating like that. Boy, he's like auto-tune in real life. <laughs> <laughs> but he a Muslim. Yeah. He a Muslim. Like, I had a chance to meet him, but I didn't want to. But he a Muslim. I was like, you know, it's going to be hard as hell talking to these dudes. They're all Muslims. <laughs> Yeah, he's, yeah. Been a, he's been a Muslim since birth. His dad, really. Yeah. His dad is deep in the Islamic uh, community. Mm -hmm. So people like that, they got the riches. You know, mm -hmm. their mind is focused on riches, man. That's what we're talking about. All right, go ahead, brother. Yeah, this, and, uh, you know, this is an interjection. This is uh, Sirach chapter 26, verse 4. Whether a man be rich or poor, if he have a good heart towards the Lord, he shall at all times rejoice with a, cheer a cheerful counsel. Yeah, that's the scripture right there. That's my spirit, man. You know, rich or poor, as long as you pray to the Lord, that's all that matters. You, know, you can get money, but are you going to go out and teach? You know, are you going to uh, help the homeless and the poor? Are you going to teach the right doctrine? Are you going to be holding these holidays? Are you going to get the, the chip? Just to make money, look at DMX. You know? So there's a lot of stuff we can't talk about, but you know, you know where it's going. It's this, is, this is the Creed Atticus. Chapter 8, verse 2. Be not at variance with a rich man, lest he overweight thee. For gold have destroyed many and perverted the hearts of kings. Right. So, you know, hey, he said, be at variance. Be not at variance. Yeah, be not at variance, man. So, what does the word variance mean? Somebody look at the word variance. What precept? The oil? Include the Atticus chapter 8, verse 2. Yeah, yeah. Because a lot of people go and chasing out the gold, money, riches of this world, stuff that's not uh, profitable, profitable for them, you know, due to their salvation and it comes down to their salvation. Quick interjection. This is uh first Timothy chapter six. I'm gonna start at verse nine. It says, But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts. Which drawing men in destruction and perdition. We have a lot of people of, of our nation sell out for riches, man. You know, uh, <laughs> and, and it says what? It says, uh, it says, uh, going to the next verse, in verse ten. For the love of money is the root of, yeah. of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and um, pierced themselves through the many. Uh, through with many sorrows. So a lot of our people have uh you know um um air from the from the faith, man. You know, some that uh, may came in of the circumcision and start chasing after uh, riches. And you just look at the, the normal uh jakes today, man. You know, they don't even want to uh, accept the scriptures, don't don't even want to hear it, man. Mm -hmm. They'd rather be working instead of uh, hearing the word of, of the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. That's another generational curse. Just like how the elder was saying that, yeah, I know I'm to take care of my kids, you know what I'm saying? That's all I'm worried about. But you, let's say you leave your kids a lot of money. Look whose face is going to money. That also a little self-hate, all right? Because now our, you know, our children want to be like the, these individuals whose faces they see on the money. All right, so you, that's another generational curse, you know what I'm saying? What happens if you leave your children all this money and then then they they, they, they clip the currency, which, which they're going to do? And they denounce the dollar. Now your kids' children are left with nothing. They know how to, don't even know how to fend for themselves. But you didn't give them the word. This is the only substance material that you that that that's really meaningful on this earth. But what did Solomon yeah. said? Solomon says he, he he searched throughout all the deep and got knowledgeable on everything. 
and to realize that all of it is vanity and vexation of spirit. So at the end of the day, this is the only substance, the only thing that really matters, man. And this is what we need to pass on to our children. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, this is this is the word variance the etymology. It says the fact of undergoing change from old French variance. It says change, alteration, doubt, hesitation, and this is and directly from Latin. I think it says variantia from stem of variare to change. Meaning state of disagreement, or is recorded from the early 15. I don't think I see this. This said not hesitant. This said be not hesitant. Uh, but it does have other definitions for it. Oh, yeah, it is. It said it got doubt in there and changes. Yeah, you know, yeah. doubt, doubt, and hesitation. Hesitation. <laughs> yeah. uh, now, can you read that piece of again? One sec. It said be not. Yeah. Or hesitation. It's a rich man. Yeah. Make your choice quick. Uh, do that in <laughs> chapter 8, verse 2. Be not at variance with a rich man, lest he overweigh thee. For gold have destroyed many and perverted the hearts of kings. There you go. Make your choice quick, man. Don't let him make a choice for you. Like somebody like Trump or Biden. <laughs> <laughs> you got to make a choice now. Let these rich folks make a choice for you, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue, and look what he saith, they install it to the clouds. But if the poor man speak, they say, What fellow is this? And if he stumble, they will help to overthrow him. Right, so they said, Well, when a rich man speak, they exalted. Yeah, Meaning they they the take take heed, they uh, exalt exalted to the to the clouds. You know, praise what that what that man is saying. Like, look at these partners up. Look at these entertainers. You know, that's on a higher uh, uh, in this society on a higher scale than than, than a lesser one that have money. You know, our, our people will fall after what they saying. But if, if it's a, a man of the Lord, that's on a, a, a lower uh, scale. If just preaching the, the scripture, if we stumble. They'll stomp, they'll mock, they'll demonize you, they'll say you're a bomb, they don't want to hear it. But they'll exalt somebody that's wicked in the society. For example, Amari Spottermeyer. We've been out here teaching for years. The truth. And we the Israelites. He come on TV and say it one time, and everybody like, oh, he said we Israelites. I'm like, come on, man. Same thing, same thing with the White Howard. That's right. Nope. Yeah. And they don't got it right. They don't got it all right. Because Amari Sodomite, he's still getting tattoos, acting the same. You know, he got a yeah. handful of dreads. Yeah, look at the churches. Look at the churches. They go there for the money. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, what, what, somebody said to me all the time, I know you know a lot, but you should go to college and get a plan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you're talking about everything I know. You mean I got to go to college and get a certificate from them to say I got some type of plan. Right. The truth or danger. For real, according to Jeremiah chapter 1, we've been ordained from your house by Shinra Bashar from the beginning. We got to this earth. I got a preacher. Go ahead. Let's read Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 1. Be aware that anyone teach you through false philosophy and empty deceit according to the traditions of men, according to the basic principles. Of the world and not according to Yahweh God. All right, so what is the basic tradition of men? The universities uh, being um, a birth under one, being unified under one verse, meaning one way of thinking, one logical way of thinking. So that's being a part of this world. But mm -hmm. according to um, First Corinthians chapter one, we don't, we don't. I think it's one and twelve. We don't have the spirit of this world, or the spirit mm -hmm. of Hamasiyah. So that yeah. our ordainment, our ordination comes <laughs> differently than from the ordaining of this world. Because yeah. You know what I'm saying? They are under the father of the devil. That this is the this is the, the prince of darkness who rule the world at this present time. Uh, so what is the philosophy? The philosophy, go to college, get a good job, you know what I'm saying, get a 401k. That's philosophy with uh, everyday life that they teach in the society. And people that do that be miserable. <laughs> you know, and, and and just because you have your name on a piece of paper, don't uh, uh clarify that you are intelligent or that you have wisdom. Or that you know what you're saying. 
scholarship. People can graduate from these colleges, and they can graduate from these, these, these high up schools, and they can graduate and still be stupid. What it is, what those what do those degrees do? It gives you a certificate to be a part of the system. And they don't they what do they ask you out a job? You want to get a shot, you have to have a degree. That means a certificate to be a part of what they have, what their establishment. It doesn't matter if you know the job in and out, but if you don't have that certificate or that degree, you can't be a part of the system. They want you to be a part of it. That's what that's what all these um, high school diplomas, college degrees. That's all it is for, for you to be a part of their system. That's to give you a license to do the ordinance of the heat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They can't get a follow one, two, three charter. They can't get that follow one, two, three charter unless they got that. Mm-hmm. Unless they get some type of degree or certificate. Get ordained. That way you gotta go to a church and they'll try to ordain you at the church. This is Second Timothy 2, 22 and 23. Free also your, your full lust of follow righteousness faith charity, peace, with them that call on the Lord out of the pure heart. But foolish and unlearned questions avoid on knowing that they do gender strife. Right. That's what talking about some damn two-thirds doctrine that don't exist. <laughs> so you, you say avoid them Negroes, man. Right? Uh, over at Israelites trying to deny it. Avoid them, man. Just avoid them. It ain't working. It. It's just doing gender strife. That's it. It's just going to make you mad. You don't want to cuss them the hell out. Then they're gonna want to want to cuss you the hell off. So yeah, it's better to just keep teaching, doing the work, and 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 uh, be amongst your brothers that are in the same mindset as you. And you know have the truth. And what was the first part? Oh, my bad. And what this is is what? What he said, rich or poor, just you gotta be humble. That's the definition of being humble, right there with the brother red. All right, not just walking around with your head low, calling yourself humble. That's humble right there, what the brother said. Now follow follow these steps um, uh, with the believers. Mm-hmm. With, with, with other righteous men. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Uh, Back. Uh, this is Proverbs chapter 14, verse 7. This is go from the presence of a foolish man when thou proceedest not in him the lips, the lips of knowledge. So when you find that somebody don't have the knowledge of Yahweh, you know what Go from their presence. Sorry, you, you get away from them. You know, you don't you don't deal with them because you cannot get edified. You cannot learn anything from them. So you must, all right, I'm going to go see you later. Go yeah. on, referring back to what the elder was saying. Yeah, it ain't worth it at the end of the day. Yeah, that, that's, that's cast not your pearls before swine, or they'll turn and wrench you. Ooh, and so not among thorns. Like, um, yeah. you don't end up pricking yourself. Because what are you going to look like? Imagine to the innocent bystander that's trying to learn, and you're, you're your head is hard against their forehead, and there's really nothing being exalted because you know you look like tyrants against each other at that point in time because they're not going to believe what you're saying, you're not going to believe what they're saying, and the innocent bystander on the side is going to be all totally confused. It's not done for edification. Matthew chapter 10, verse 12. It says, And when ye come into a house, salute it. And if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it be not worthy, let your peace return to you. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words, when ye depart out of out of that house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. So whether they don't receive it or not, or they do receive it, uh, no, whether they don't receive it, you're supposed to shake the dust off your feet. And if they do receive it, you're supposed to, uh, uh, you know, salute it, you know, bless them. You know, they, they heard you, you know, and, and that seed was planted. But if they don't want to hear it or don't want to receive it, you, you don't have to bother keep uh, trying to bash it in the head. You just wipe the dust off your feet and this is what the words what Yahweh Shai said, man. So we don't, we don't even have to bother keep <laughs> trying to like get it and get it. Yeah, you know? He said, if you warn them and if you're not warned, they don't take heed. The blood is off your hands. You don't have to go word to word, people. All we have to do is plant that seed and put the truth out there and let, let, let the chips fall where they may. <laughs> yeah. Bottom you. line. Yep. Uh, uh, this is Psalms chapter 69, verse 22. Let their table become a snare before them. And that which should have been for their welfare, that'll become a trap. Ooh, you know, the cut. Come, come. 
you know, because this is uh, this is what's going to be not wisdom. That's Romans 11. Stability. Uh, not as wisdom as stability. It's like uh, going to be, it's going to be the stability of thy times. You know, so this is going to be your wealth, though. You know, not the riches of this world, things of that nature. You know, right? Kicking off the rest is going to be. Yeah, I'm on my bus too. We got real quick, Daniel. This is our Romans chapter 11, verse 7. What then Israel have not attained of that which he seeketh for? Never do this, man. Uh, for it says seeking for, but the election have attained it, and the rest were blinded. And according as it is written, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they shall not see, and ears that they shall not hear unto this day. And David said, Let their table be made a snare, a trap, and a stumbling block, and a recompense <laughs> unto them. Right. So when they sit down to eat. You know, uh, verse 10 it says, Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back always. Right, so what was meant to enlighten them or wake, wake them up had, the scriptures has literally become their judgment now. What they call the uh, stumbling stone, the rock of recompense, the rock of offense. Yeah, can we get that, please? Because it's a point of it. Because if Yahweh Shai didn't let them persecute him, then the Lord wouldn't have judged them. All right? Just like today, he got us out here teaching. The Lord is setting them up because they set up Pharaoh to come against us. And then the Lord had more reason to judge them. All right? But it was X for the levels. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, rock of the fence. Now, this was the stone. Stone of the building of the future. Not about a building. Come on, come on. That's what we had. This is this is Acts chapter four. Two, 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 two. Four, verse ten. Y'all look for the other one. Verse I said, "Be it known unto you all, and to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Yahweh Shai Hamasiyah, whom He crucified, whom Yahweh raised from the dead, even by Him doing this man stand here before you both." This is the stone which was set at not of you builders, which has become the, the head of the corner. Okay. All right, this is uh I'm uh this is um first Peter chapter two, I'm starting verse eight, and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. So, uh, 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 Yahweh shines that rock of defense, man. All right, uh, uh, because at the end of the day, we are justifying our sayings, man. You know, they're not speaking to the law, to the testimony, or speaking to, uh, of the testimony of Yahweh shine. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they, they, they don't have no light in them, man, because Yahweh shine, uh, uh, did come in the flesh, did uh, be the, the, the sacrificial lamb unto the nation of Israel, and is on his way back to deliver his elect, man. You know, that's our rock of defense. They cannot, uh, none of our people or these heathen say, cannot say Yahweh Shai uh, uh, does not exist, man. They cannot say that uh, he was not on this earth. We have the record. Hmm. We have the record right here that he was here, man, and that he taught the disciples, man. So he is our rock of defense. It's, it's a rock of defense to them. They are gone dead, you know. God. They are offended. It's like when Yahweh Shai was on the scene. And well, how many people left them that one day? Um, 70 had left. And then he turned around to the rest of the disciples and said, oh, will y'all be offended of me? Because all he said was like, you shall, eat of my, you shall drink my blood and eat of my flesh. Good. But he was talking about, you, you get what I'm saying? He was talking about the Passover, the last, the last what they call the Last Supper. But they were so caught up in, in emotions that they didn't understand what he was saying unto them. And they, he became a, a rock of offense unto them. Because Yahweh Shah said, uh, blessed is he that's not offended in you. Huh? Mm -hmm. So you you would be considered blessed not being offended in the Lord, man. Because he only he, he's he's there for our help, not for our uh, destruction. But for two thirds, he's gonna he's gonna destroy them. They you know, because they're offended in the truth. Right. Yeah, and he said he's better, it's, he's for our help, because the scriptures say uh it's, it's, it's his will to give us the kingdom. So hey, that's what that's what we ultimately are, are, are appointed to, man. The, the, the righteous, the, the kingdom, the, the, the blessings. But two thirds, they're not gonna uh, 
get that blessing on that first try, man. They got to uh, be uh, condemned on this side, man. They're going to be in the uh, kingdom with their, their head down. Uh, 23, uh, 23 uh, Revelation 22 and 10. <laughs> it's Revelation 22 and 10. And he saith unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecies of this book, for the time is at hand. Right, man. So, um, who is that, bro? John. He was talking to John. All right. He told him, seal not the prophecies of this book. All right. That's what we're doing. We're, we're not sealing it up anymore. All right. It's all about the prophecies because the time is at hand. Now it's time to put it out there. Keep putting it out there. We've been doing it. Start from apostle on down, man. With our business. This is Hebrews chapter 2, verse 3. How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation, which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him? You know, as, as you hear, uh, just backing up the elder, you know, uh, we confirm that word, man, with how it's shot, you know, as far as our salvation. <clears throat> so we have to take heed to this and grab the word, which is able to save our souls. Uh, you know, you know, you know, verse 3 it says, How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation, which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him? That's two thirds of our people, man. They uh, neglect nah. such good salvation, man. You know, uh, uh, through the Lord, Yahweh, 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 man. They don't want to take heed that that's the true uh, 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 safety. They want Yahweh Shai, all right? They want to still continue coming on sweet baby JC, you know what I'm saying? Continue going down that way. But that's not going to get you anyway. Suffice for a time, let's talk about the second entrance, man. You know, you receive your benefits for this time, but hey, later on, the same was more that could death by pain. You know why? Because the Lord, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, been calling out to you through the mouth of his prophets, but yet you've been rejected now, man. You know, like the brother the bar brought out earlier in uh, First Peter chapter 2 in uh Hey, you know, you know what I'm saying? You, you don't take heat to that cornerstone so shit. When it comes to that time, how are you going to obtain salvation, man? Why? Because that our salvation was being spoken until you are you watch all the time, man. You know, but you rejected it, right? True, sir. But they rather accept Juneteenth, so. Juneteenth, June 14th. No, it's 19, 19. Today. It's Isaiah 52. And to, and, and to neglect. The salvation would be to uh, begin to be sweet. Mm -hmm. All right. Isaiah 52, 62, and 6. And this is uh, basically land back the scripture we brought out in um, Revelation 22 and 10 on how a seal not the sayings of the, of the prophecy, you know, a give them no rest, you know, until uh, he make Jeru Jerusalem, uh, you know, he established the kingdom ultimately. Uh, and this is Isaiah 62 and 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall neither, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence, give, and give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. All right, he's talking about give the Lord no rest. <laughs> keep, keep calling on him, keep crying out, you know. You're out there going like a man and pray to him, man. And keep going out there and teach him. All right? And give these heathens no rest. All right? Because they're not giving us no rest. All this uh, weakness that we see upon the face of the earth. All right. Yes, yes. Somebody get uh, First Thessalonians 5. I'm already here. This is First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 6. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us... Who are of the day be so putting on the breastplate of faith and love and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. There you go, man. The hope of salvation. And, uh, you got a lexicon on your phone? Nah. Somebody got a lexicon on your phone? Uh -huh. Look at that verse and go to where it's sweet. That was first that's one. Look at that word sweet real quick. Say, Those that sleep, sleep in the night. We're in the night, a dark time right now. We're going into the day, which is the kingdom. In the same way, Yahweh Shai, when he uh, was raised from the dead at the crack of dawn, as soon as that sun hit the horizon, as soon as it's time for our kingdom to come in, and that, that, that peaks over the horizon, this place done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about saying Yahweh Shai. So, 
And he's going to give us spiritual powers in the midst of Jacob's trouble, man. We might be tested at first, the hour of temptation, but somewhere in there, he's going to give us spiritual ability to keep us until the chariots take us out of here. He's going to give his angels charge over you. Right? To keep you in all that way. He's going to be like a puppet. <laughs> Snap it out, everybody. Slap your head off. Did I just do that to you? <laughs> you ten toes the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sleep. Oh, no, not right now. Hold on. Uh, sleep. Uh, this is uh, G2518. It says to lay down to rest. Oh, see, our people are resting. And, uh, what is that? Judah crouched like a lion? The old lion? Like a lion's wolf? Who's your rub? Anybody know that one? Anybody, anybody? Genesis. This is uh, ugly. Thank you. Genesis 49 9. Judah is a, a lion's whelp. From the prey, my son, thou art grown up. He us. Uh, right, real quick. The lion's wolf is represents a young lion. Right, it says he stooped down, he crouched as a lion, and as an old lion, who should rouse him up? Right, so as an old lion, who should rouse him up? He couched as a lion. See, Judah is the top tribe. Just like Ephraim is the top tribe. Ephraim, the, the top tribe of the northern kingdom. Ephraim led the rest of the northern king, northern king over here in the third century AD. We got led over here around the 1400s. All right? Judah, Benjamin, Levi. And now what? He said, we came over here and we, we rested. Like, we came over here on cruise ships and we even got to the damn uh, island of, of uh, America the resort. Yeah, it was a paradise island. It was really the, the bitterest island you can think of. <laughs> like a Literally. skull island, <laughs> like a valley of dry oh, bones. Yeah. Valley of dry bones, you know. <laughs> Blue like, man zone. Yeah, man. So that's valley of shadow death. So, but our people are resting in that. You got to think about it. And to rest means what? To do something naturally, but to be caused to rest. All right. And to rest naturally would be mean to be carnal. All right. To rest spiritually would be to be put to rest righteously, like Tobit and Yahushua is doing. All right. Oh, where are we at? Um, um, sleep. That was what the definition of sleep. It says uh, to fall asleep, drop off to sleep, to sleep, to sleep normally. That's that normally. That was that carnal. You for and you. You from Missouri to be dead. Damn. It <laughs> says uh, to yield to uh, slaw. To, to yield to slaw and sin. Mm. sin. Just, just, like, just, like, just like the prayer of King David. And he say, bow down, not back. Always you're going to bow down. And he's forced to uh, basically transgress against him. He's going to force you to go against him. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, to be indifferent. To one's salvation. That's the point. That's the point. To be sleep, that means to be indifferent to it. Basically, basically not aware that salvation is, is developed. That's why he said what was meant for good turned to bad for him. Come on. That's why Jake can say, oh, we all, we all going to die anyway. You know? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Having no more questions. You think we'll get out of this shit? Yeah. 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 You think the white folks will be uh, Caucasians will be able to... Uh, Move on the power, of course, yeah, man. You know, that's when we get that divine intervention. Oh, that's called having hope. Maybe uh, let P. Diddy tell you, man, he made a video on Instagram. He said, uh, they've been waiting for anybody coming to save us, man. I heard that was wrong. Yeah, nah, I'm gonna let him alone, man. Yeah, dude, crazy, man. He's talking about some trying to build black wealth, man. I was on that one. Yeah, he's talking about that. 
Yeah. And, and that's the thing in itself, right? Like, so like, you know what I'm saying? You try to build black wealth, quote unquote, but at the same time, how long that's gonna last? But yet you don't know how long that waiting gonna last. You, know? you don't know how long that uh, building black wealth is gonna suffice. It. It's not gonna suffice at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Gold is a defense, money, money is a defense, but hey, at the end of the day, the knowledge of wisdom and understanding of the Lord, y'all will bust you, y'all service we're gonna get you out of here. But that scripture was referring to gold and silver as being money. That's a defense. So how the hell are you gonna build black wealth? <laughs> when they face this is on the top. Yeah. <laughs> Man, show me somebody black. Yeah, I was scripted second too. What the uh, uh, They can play all they want. That's what I put on there. I said, yo, how y'all gonna build a community when they they gonna, they gonna build a community with everybody that believes that? Mm, come on. And then they trying to build a community and they just talk about uh, waiting and shit. Hey, you waiting with the black wall street, you gonna have to do that. Ooh. You know what uh, I'm saying? So they you literally got to what's gonna happen. You expect a different outcome? All right, man. Because that's what the Luis was saying at the time. He was afraid that uh, their uh, economy would, would surpass theirs. So they had to get rid of it by bombing. Come on with it. Now, what do you see the boy uh, Diddy love doing again? <laughs> what do you see him doing? He's saying, yo, uh, buy black. And you think Esau ain't watching that? No, you don't want to spend that Oscar with me? <laughs> they see that. Right. They watching that. If it ain't if it ain't black, I don't drink. Remember that? <laughs> if it ain't black, black man don't drink. So my like bottles. Yeah. But why not do that with a vegetable drink? If it ain't black, black man don't drink. Just trying to help keep our people drunk. Hmm. Trying to help keep our people asleep. All them cats that got bottles out. Yeah. Everybody they doing that's some big favor when they say buy a black. Yo, that's a promotion. Buy their drink. Because they really care if they would say buy a black. And buy rice, buy a little. They just tell me they tell me the name. And if I don't know, I'm pretty sure. No, we got a point. Oh, kind. And I was about to say, hey, man, uh, America is just that uh, modern day big house, you know? And doing your uh, 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 today's house niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? Leading you in Spain. Yeah, because Jay Z yeah. don't own what I'm saying. He did it when he owned Sharrock. They just in the basement. He didn't like that. Nine times out of ten, but they ain't. Do for the club. And then if they all put that in uh 50 cent on F and you see how that shit's starting to take. Mm -hmm. They're not like anything that's really black owned or so-called black owned, they're not supporting and get behind. You can't. And then if it is shit, once that shit finally boom, wait, that's what they end up doing. Sell it. Dr. Dre, Dre, Dre beats. Shit, boom. So the album, you know what I'm saying? Jay Z just sold the whole uh, platform, the title, the music platform. The title. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at BT. I thought he did. Cannot let me. Cannot, you told me that uh, Ja Rule didn't, didn't own Murder Ant. As much as he was shouting it out, I thought he owned it. No, Irv got it on Murder Ant. But yeah, he. But he but they got too big where the feds brought them down. Yeah, so that that was murder. <laughs> 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 um, you know, because you know, this this is just a free stuff to bring out. Because you know, people always talk about wealth and riches. They always got their mind set on it. So uh, this is what the scripture says about that. This is Proverbs twenty three and five. Will thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle toward heaven. So, you know, I really love to talk about money. They really set their mind on this money. You don't notice this dollar's going to collapse. It's going to get phased out. Yes. You know, they talk about all this, 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 oh, get this and this high value bull crap and all this other stuff. Well, why would you set your mind on something like that? Money fly away. As soon as you get money, it's out of here. It's gone. So, you and, know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Prices go up, your money ain't going up. In every kingdom you have money, it always have to pay. Bro, of course, you know, that's what it says. She says, lay, lay, lay not up your sales treasures on earth. You know, up in heaven. Right. Rich is not going to say, give me their judgment. They're going to try to pull out your bill phone when your house starts to show up. Oh, yeah. Now, now, what are they offering now? They're offering what? Uh, Six thousand dollars in Philadelphia yeah. certificate Ooh. to do that. Now here they're offering a position, a position in the uh, million dollar lottery. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, come on! 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Lamborghinis and shit like that. Mansions and yeah. different things, man. Hey, they really yeah. put them people cars, man. Come on, Bill. Yeah. 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 You think you need to pay them fresh, you know? Yeah. 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 This is First Thessalonians chapter five, verse three. It says, "No, verse one." It says, "But at the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you, for ye, for yourselves, know perfectly that the day of the Lord, how much you now shine, so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them as travail upon a woman with child." They shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness. That, what does it mean? Unexpected. Uh, you can be waiting for the pregnancy. It's going to be around this time. It's going to be around this time. You can see the prophecy. You now you know what time when well, it is going to happen when the water breaks. He mm -hmm. says, the breach ready to fall. Mm -hmm. uh, verse 4 it says, But ye, brethren, are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. Right, and also, um, what happens with a baby in the womb has to be full grown before they be born. The Lord said He's gonna be growing all the prophecies up and once they complete. And the plagues, that's when He's gonna bring them. Right. Right. These are all the children of the light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Mm. Oh, and if I may add on, you know, just like the brother brought out, you know, let us watch and be sober, man. You know, like two thirds of our people and also these other heathen nations are, right? Going back to the point that the brother brought out earlier, you know, they lost within the money, man. You know, that's another way that they're saying peace and safety, all right? With the with this whole economic, economical system, monetary system, right? Oh, yeah, the US dollar this, the US dollar that, you know what I'm saying? Especially with our people, all right? Oh, yeah, I'm getting money this, that, and the third, but not knowing the more money that you're getting, shit, the more it's being devalued. And the more that, the prices around you are going up, man. You know, uh, it was this one article, all right, uh, inflation went up 5%. It's expected to go up to 10, all right, by the end of this month, and we in the middle of it, man. You know, so with that being said, shit, you're talking about, uh, you see, your, your, your bread and egg prices going up, your housing prices, shit, it went up $2 or whatever the case may be, a dollar or whatever the case may be, hey, it's everything about the skyrocket, man. You prepare each month, all right, to, for something different, all, and then it's going to tr trickle down for months, to days, to weeks, what well, months to weeks, to days, to hours, man, to minutes. Shit, it's gonna right. keep going and going. Mm -hmm. you know? and what's the main sign? What's the main sign of a, a crashing economy? Is they deal with the uh, citizen stimulus. Uh, 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 and that's the trend that's going on right now. They 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 issued a thousand dollar sign on book on for everything, you know, uh, uh, for jobs or for you can take that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm saying people. Uh, I mean, I own 23 countries that dropped the uh, United States dollar. Come on. Ooh. Russia being one of the main countries. Come on. And China. You know, they're going to invest in other, uh, they're investing in gold, silver, and the euro. When, when, when oh. China doesn't like Russia, because China is, is the majority of overall of America's debt. Oh. So when China does that, then you're going to see all hell broken because it's going to collapse the world economy because the world is in debt. Um, and, and the Britain and America are the two major holders of the world debt. Mm -hmm. And 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 with the with the with the with the feds running everything, dealing with the dollar, that shows you how the global economy is gonna react. When and that what is that gonna do? That's gonna bring in the um the mark of the beast, man. All right. Because when, when Europe when America became indebted to Europe in the thirties, right? That debt it became so big, right? That China had to buy up half of it. And what they did was <clears throat> they started buying it, selling it back to the Fed, buying it, selling it back to the Fed. The Fed sells to them, they buying it back and forth, looking out for America that keeps them rich. So they were like, let's keep this going. And now they're like, yo, we're done with this. That's that's literally our economy right there. Don't pass that money back around. You know? So now that they're doing that, that's a dollar collapse. They've all lost faith in that dollar. I mean, all those dollars from around the world that got sent out from America, it's all come back to America to roost. Mm -hmm. What did that mean? All those nations that bought the debt from China, like Iran, all these different countries they don't know about, they bought that debt. So what happens is what? All those nations, they're going to send that money back. We don't want it. They can't just send it back. Where are they going to send it to? What they're going to do is they're going to spend it, and they're going to buy up 
land. They're gonna buy up everything that's leased. Hey, you know, on. solid contracts, houses. They're gonna buy it up, you know. And that's when they're gonna own America. They're gonna start attacking. Like how they say, oh, uh, China own California. Yeah, they own. They own New York. They own Wall Street. Mm -hmm. Texas too. They bought up. Yeah, yeah. they yeah. bought up Wall Street already. And that's where all them sovereign attacks them going at. <laughs> Texas, uh, New York, yeah. and like California, uh, like Utah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they can do what the hell they want now. They own it. And that yeah. makes sense because that's why the housing market is crazy. And you have all these investors buying up all the property. Good. It's, 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 it's terrible to try to buy a house right now. Houses that were around maybe 150000 around a 2008 to 2014 crash, they're now uh, being appraised at over 250000 mm -hmm. So that's almost 100% markup from, from back when the first crash happened in 2008. Wow. I don't know, 2015. That was the housing crash. Huh. Like, like, you know, they got the stimulus in 2015. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to stimulate it back up and pump it back up. Yeah. But, but all these houses being taken off, off the market, these are investors. These are people buying these houses. These are investors buying these houses. Yeah. They buying all this, these plots and houses and sitting on them. Yeah. What is it called? Bailout, not stem. Bailout. 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 You buy it, you gotta still pay mortgages and, and taxes on the house. Next thing you know, <clears throat> the taxes go up. <clears throat> they they prop it up. Oh, yeah, they yeah. sell it. To everybody, everybody yeah. buy a house, buy a house. They wait. After everybody bought the house, they hike the price up. Now everybody can't pay it. They gotta get out. Mm -hmm. And they what they do? They decrease the price again, foreclose, put it on the market. Somebody sell else buys it for cheap. They do the same thing. Yeah. Well, yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks for being on the property. Going back to the bank, go back and forth. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. to, you know, buying it like uh, China, China was buying into the debt with the feds, and they were going back and forth with that. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> these banks aren't giving out loans anymore because the interest rate is so high. Can't nobody get into these houses, so that's why you got investors buying these houses. They sitting on. Mm -hmm. So now, so what does that do to the economy? Because most of these investors groups are, are from out of the country, so there's none of that mon money being so even though that stimulus is, is being popular. None of that money is being circulated in America. So what are they doing? They're going online to Amazon, which everything's being imported from over here, and they're buying all this stuff. Right? Mm -hmm. what, they, what they're saying, uh, you're going to rent everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're saying you will own nothing if you have it. Oh, yeah. God damn. When when you say, say, if I mean, that yeah. own, just like the brother said, like Speak to say, it's just a big loop, man. You should go to the end for the one of all things, man. So even on the mortgage, you know what I'm saying? You don't own your house because if you don't pay that mortgage, the bank coming to get your shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's a big loop, man. You know, I just want to throw that out there. Which yeah, private entity that shouldn't even own, shouldn't even be able to uh, take ownership of that home. You know, after it's going into foreclosure and everything else. Like that. Yeah, that's what you know what some people that's Yeah. You know what some people were doing on the mortgage? They were buying the house and putting lien on the house that they own. Uh, and since they put the lien first on their name, now they can't take the, uh, the property. Right. So I don't know if that was working or not. But it was yeah, the lien ain't going to really stick, though. Uh, no. Nah. They, they're going to want to foreclose the property. Right. Yeah. But what they're going to say is um, when the bank takes the house away, because my cousin bought a house that had a lien on it. But what he did, he got the house for so cheap, he paid the lien off. Uh, you see what I'm saying? So they can still take the house with the lien being on there. But it just takes a little bit longer time, just like if you go into bankruptcy, it takes a little bit longer for them to take the house. Right? Yeah, and, they, right. this, this is a, and this is a system, so they got nothing but that. Yeah. Right. So they think. So the only thing <laughs> in this society that we truly own is hope and faith. So right. Let's keep rocking with the scriptures. I'm going to speak these down. He said, he say, uh, we're going to speak these words in accord with our wisdom. Right. So we're going to say our thoughts, but then you wrap it. Uh, back, in, uh, back in Genesis 49, start at verse 10, the sepulcher shall not depart from Judah. Huh? Oh, he's, 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 oh, sepulcher. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
the scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet, until Shiloh come, and unto him shall the gathering of the people be. Right. And, uh, oh, you got to go to verse 9. Verse 9? Mm -hmm. Wait for that uh, Back in verse, back in Genesis, chapter 49, verse chapter yeah, 49, verse 9. It says, Judah is a lion's whelp. From the prey, my son, thou art grown up. He stooped down. He crouched as a lion and as an old lion. Who shall rouse him up? All right, we're good, read it, but I'm going to go again. Come on. But the word crouch, if you look at a lion, you see him laying down, you know, laying out, you know, like a Persian rug or something. Sure. You know, you see him, you see him laying out, like, you know, in the jungle. But the thing is, you see an old lion laying down like that, and they have uh, it's a hard one, it's harder for them to bite, it's hard for them to chase any food, they kind of got to be right there for them. And they lay down, that's when they're usually about to die out. But it's harder for them to get up, you know what I'm saying? I actually watched the whole documentary on this. And once that old lion lays down, they're, they're set a certain way or they stand a certain way, but after a while, that laying down. That's like a, a form of giving up. You know what I'm saying? And if they haven't eaten, they're going to die just like that. Mm. So the Lord's saying that about us. If we haven't eaten, it's his word. If we have been couched down in this place and die off. Old lions, ancient lions. All right, we're getting on Jeremiah 30 and 7. This ain't good. This ain't even last Jeremiah 30 verse 7 Alas, for that day is great So that none is like it It is even the time of Jacob's trouble But he shall be saved out of it Right, so alas For that day is great, right? Huh. Um, it is even the time of Jacob's trouble so it, He said it's going to be a time of great trouble But it's even the time of Jacob's trouble See that? And he said what? But at, but the but also Israel shall be saved out of it. What does he mean by it? Uh, come back to that remnant. Uh, 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 Sand of the sea, the remnant. This is, uh, yeah, maybe this is true. I'm scratching you here, but I'm going to keep moving. This is Romans chapter 9, verse 27. It says, Isaiah also cried concerning Israel. Though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. All right. All right. Can go back to that scripture, Back in Jeremiah, yep. chapter 30, verse 7. It said, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, for he shall be saved out of it. There you go, man. All right. So, Jacob represented who? Um, Israelites. Well, not all Israelites. Mm -hmm. Uh, not because they're the seed of Abraham are they all Israel, right? So this is the point. He's talking about the elect of Israel. Mm -hmm. Sure, bro. Uh, Alright, um, where we at? He's talking about that. Okay. Uh, this, is, this, is, this is First Peter, chapter 4 and 17. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh, and if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel right. of Yahweh? You know, so a judgment ultimately will come, all right? But hey, it's, 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 like as the scriptures say, judgment will start at his house first, all right? So we got to be uh, in, in, in order, man. We got to have our, our house furnished with the word, all right? And, and, and be upon our watch, man, because these don't come as a thief in the night, you know? But the point there is mainly, all right, it's going to hey, the judgment is going to come. All right, but it's also going to come upon Jacob as well, man. It's going to start at the Lord's house first, man. He's going to chasten us just as he chastened his son, man, because he loved mm -hmm. us before he loved the nations, you know. All right, man. This is 2nd Andrews, chapter 16, starting at verse 3. A sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you. And what is he... That may drive them away. May any man drive away a hungry lion in the wood, or may anyone quench the fire and stubble when it had a chance to burn. That's Jacob's trouble, man. Everybody gonna be able to put it out. Yeah. Everybody gonna quench it, man. 
You don't have the right tools for it. Uh, see, the Lord gonna give us the tools to quench the fire in the dark of the wicked. Uh, hey, uh, brother, can you get um Second Ezra two and thirty-four? Second Ezra two thirty-four. Anybody appreciate it? Okay. Second, second, Ezra. second Ezra chapter 9 verse 20 it says so I considered the world and behold there was there was perils because of the devices that come into it and I saw and spared it greatly and have kept me a grape of the cluster and a plant of a great people let the multitude perish then which was born in vain and let my grape be kept and my plant but with great labor have I made it perfect. So that's basically going in. It's going to be a remnant. This is what Elder said. Not all of Israel are of Israel. Neither are they the seed of Abraham. Meaning he kept, he kept the remnant and preserved the remnant through through from the beginning all the way through the end. With dealing with Jacob's trouble. And like the Elder said, we're going to be equipped when we're going to be part of that number to survive through all the way to the end. Which is mm -hmm. It said, let the most multitude perish. Mm -hmm. So uh, when it says, this world was made for many, but the world to come was made for few. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that go back. The mm -hmm. world to come is going to be uh, the first the first group starting with the elect, the, uh, that remnant that's going to uh, taste of that, of that that first, you know, cut of the pie, man. <laughs> you know, that kingdom. Right. Uh, um, I was looking for that precept. What's the uh, other one that basically he saw they uh, grab all the grapes? If not, they would left not enough. Oh, but now, they come. Yeah. So basically, I was, I was looking for that one too. I was trying to get them to go together. But basically, you know, uh, going back to Jeremiah 30 and 7, a, a remnant of Jacob is going to be saved, man. It's like the brother uh, scripture that the brother Kanak brought out, you know, hey, it's going to be a remnant of, that, of, of those gleaning grapes. It's going to be left on that uh, vine, man. You know, because he he saw seeking whom he made the power, right? Break down with him, all right? Why? Because you know that he have a short time. So therefore, we we got to constantly be in the spirit, man. You know, that's a, that's something to be excited about. Uh, you know, I mean, if you feel excited, you should be, man. Brother, every time you say it, they be smiling. That's it. That's it. Yeah, man. That's wild, man. Yeah, let's fight for some Thanks for coming for the camera, brother. I'm gonna stop for a couple times. And therefore, I say unto you, Second Ezra 2 and 34. And therefore, I say unto you, O ye heathen, that hear and understand, look for your shepherd. Ooh, so he's talking to the heathen. Who is he talking to? Uh, somebody that uh, you were without hope. Uh, without hope. Without your house in the world. Uh, <laughs> uh, Ephesians chapter 2. He's trying right? not to. <laughs> 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 All right, we'll get this real quick and then we'll jump right back to where you were at and start reading. Like this. this is Ephesians chapter 2, verse 11. Wherefore, remember that ye being in past times, in, in time past, Gentiles in the flesh who are called uncircumcision. By that which is called the circumcision, and that in the flesh made by hand. Right. What is the word Gentile means? Strange. Right. Nation. All right. Now our people became demons. You know. Um. Yeah, so that's what the Lord is talking to. He's saying, "Yo, you heathen." Uh, Revelation 11. Matter of fact, Revelation 11, 8. That's the point right there. This is uh Revelation chapter 11, verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Great man. And what's that? Uh, 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 did you hear that? Yeah. 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 All right, uh, yeah, great. Good deal. Those things are first. I'll be done. Come on, come on. Okay, okay. Jeremiah 21. All right, it's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 2, verse 21. Yet I have planted thee a noble vine, holy and right seed. How then art thou turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? All right, that, that's us becoming, us, us becoming strange uh, to the commonwealth of Israel. No longer going according to the customs, the laws, statutes, and commandments, going our own way, falling behind the heathen. So we became strangers unto Yahweh. But in other words, Gentiles. Right? So we were brought back nigh to Yahweh 
through your house, through the blood of your house shot. That's the only way we have a chance of salvation to play your house shot. Or what 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 the how was set the how was shot up for? Right. Right, brother. Two and nine, right? Two and twenty-one. Somebody grab Ezekiel 37 and 10. Uh, you got it. 37 and 10. All the way to uh 13. Right. Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 10. It says, So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood upon their feet, an exceeding great army. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, Our bones are dry and our hope is lost. We are cut off for our parts. Therefore, prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves. And bring you into the land of Israel. Right. That was he was saying that's not just going to happen, but this is going to happen with it. Go ahead. Verse 13 of Ezekiel 37. And ye shall know that I am the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up out of your graves. Right. So the fact that he brought us into this truth, he said we're going to know his name. All right, go ahead, brother. This is Amos chapter 9, verses 11. And in that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof. And I will raise up his ruin and I will build it as in the days of old, that they may possess the remnant of Edom and all of the heathen which are called by my name, said the Lord, Yahweh, that does it. Right. Woo. That's him. He said, all the heathen that are called, meaning he called them heathen. All right. He said, "What? Um, uh, really? He said he gonna close up the breaches there, meaning only the elect gonna be able to get the truth." That goes back to Romans eleven. I got it. Revelation. Oh, right. <laughs> you got some more? Yeah, good. It's Revelation eleven and eleven. Yes, we move quickly to the precepts, but the point uh, It says, "After three days and a half, the spirit of life from Yahweh entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and and great fill." Fear fell upon them which saw them. Right. So basically, that's us rising again after after being asleep in the grave. So he'll open up our graves and and, and put us to rest. Meaning, given this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, we're gonna go back on our feet and do what we're doing now. Right, right man. Ezekiel uh, thirty-seven. Uh, you know, and uh, so he called us heathens. All right, we were heathens, man. And heathen mindset. <laughs> So he said, the ones that have ears that hear and eyes to see and the mind to understand, that's what he talking to. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. It's the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 8. For you are sometimes darkness, but now ye uh, but now are ye light in the Lord, while as children of the light. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. John is going on the point the elders was just talking about, man. Uh, you know, we was once the darkness, man, doing the things of the world. But coming into this truth, the Lord has uh, uh, revived us, man, renewed us. So now we are walking as that light, shining our light in the uh, darkness of this world. Right. He's saying, and also he's saying this, not, you're not just going to know you're an Israelite and walk around like I'm an Israelite waiting to take back to the room. He said, you're going to know who did it. Right? Mm. He said, and we're going to know him. Right? <laughs> so we're know the one that brought us out of his grave. That's what we All right, let's get that piece of brother. So now we understand that we were part of that heathen nation. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We said, uh, yeah, scatter, scatter among the heathen. Oh, okay. Quick precept. No, uh, real quick, yeah. Uh, you remember that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, real fast, then we'll let the brother knock this off. Right. Uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. It says, And thou even thyself shalt discontinue from thy inheritance. Mm -hmm. That I have gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. Mm. You know, just basically, you know how the elder was speaking on the man. You know, what we were once on the other on the other end of the barrel of the gun. You know, instead of holding, you know, we have basically been on both ends of the gun. You know what I'm saying? Being from that uh, uh, heathenistic mindset of not knowing who the Lord is, being a heathen, uh, being not able to acknowledge the God of the Bible. You know. Teach trip that knowledge away from us, but, but disobeying his law, statutes, and commandments, and he, fall, he fell up under the curses. <clears throat> right, man. Uh, let's get this real quick. Uh, 
Dumb. Uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4. Right, um, this is uh, Baruch chapter 2, verse 29. It says, If ye will not hear my voice, surely this great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations where I will scatter them. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people. But in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves. And they shall know that I am the Lord, Yahweh, and I will shine their power. For I gave, th I give them an heart and ears to hear. He's saying right there. This is good. Yes or no. They brought out the grave. And, right. and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. That's so clear, man. Are you listening? <laughs> right. You <laughs> see, said what? We not gonna know the name. Oh, Lord said we're gonna think upon His name in the place where we were captured. One more, one more. Verse thirty-three it says, "And return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds, for they shall remember the way of their fathers, which sinned before me, before before the Lord. And I will bring them again unto the land which I promised." With an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and they shall be, they shall be lords of it, and I will increase them, and they shall not be diminished. Right, right. And Abraham, Abraham, um, um, uh, basically Abraham and all the other prophets are back here today. And you'll notice that Isaac not back here. Isaac is Isaac is, was Jehovah Shai, just like Solomon was Jehovah Shai, just like Adam was Jehovah Shai. All right. Matter of fact, I don't think we're talking about that. Somebody get uh, Second Corinthians um, one and thirty-seven. All right, and somebody grab Jeremiah seventeen four. This is somebody grab seventeen. I got seventeen. Okay. This is Second Corinthians chapter one, verse thirty-seven. Oh no, Jeremiah seventeen four. Uh, four about seven. Okay. This is, uh, Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4 it says and thou even thyself shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not for ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever right man which shall burn forever meaning forever on that flesh that's from Adam alright and the Lord will discontinue that flesh and give us a new flesh, so where he'll love us and care, uh, uh being uh, his, his graces. All right, he gave us a house shot so that our spirit had his graces. All right, but he, he hates the wicked forever to the point where he burned them up. And then in the kingdom, he's gonna forgive them. All right, people like uh, Nate Satan and Jay Z, crap on Steve Dollar, you know, all these murderers, you know, love a lot of black men, yeah. yeah. So. The Lord said we're going to discontinue from my heritage and become heathens, man. But uh, you got to read it? Yeah. All right, look, I'm going to do it. Go ahead. Sure. All right. Um, so that's the case. Bring this up real quick. Oh, sorry. That's all right. That's all right. This is 2nd Andrews, oh, chapter yeah. 1, 37. I tell you to win, it's the grace of the people. To come, whose little ones rejoice in gladness. Right, that's what we rejoice in gladness. We represent the little ones, right? Rejoicing in gladness, right? Yeah. And though they have not seen me with the bodily eyes, mm. yet in spirit they believe the, the thing that I say. Mm. Right, so in spirit we believe in the thing that he said, right? right. But, but now, he said he's going to send these prophets. Now, Ezra was around during the time of 453 BC. This was after Abraham, after Isaac, after Malachi and all these prophets, man. They were already dead and gone. So watch this. Go ahead, brother. And now, brother, behold, where glory. Oh, yes, <laughs> and now, brother, behold, what glory, and see the people that cometh from the east, unto whom I will give. For leaders, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Osaius, Amos, and Micah, uh, Micah, Micah Joel, Abadeus, uh, uh, and Jonas, yeah. Nahum, and Abacuc, yeah. 
It's like Latin Greek. Yeah, Abadias is a um, and then you got Abaca is Abaca. Okay. Then you have a cook. So, South Chinese. South Chinese. Yeah. Somebody look these up. Because it's like Greek, Latin. I, I, I can't remember what Amos is. I think Amos is, uh, yeah. And the next one, the Agus, that's Haggai. Hey. Haggai. Yeah. <laughs> Zechariah. Zachari and Malachi. Mm-hmm. Which is called also an angel of the Lord, right? And, and, and how did the Lord send um, these prophets back? They back on earth and through the scriptures, they lead us. You see that they lead us through the scriptures, and those prophets are back here on the earth as angels. But the Lord said He's going to send um, all these prophets, right? That's that's nice. Zephaniah? Yeah. Zephaniah. Yeah. Zephaniah. Yeah. Zephaniah. Yeah. Zephaniah. Yeah. And then, uh, what does the Lord say? Uh, somebody get Malachi 3 and 1. Yeah. So this, this is who it started with. Uh, this is uh, Malachi chapter 3, verse 1. It says, Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before, the, before me. And the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, whom he seek, shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant who needs the light in, behold, he shall come, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Lord of hosts. Right, that's talking about uh, Prophet John, who was called Elijah. So the Lord was saying, those prophets that were spoken of in Ezra, that's why they got Malachi right next to it. He was talking about when the house I came on the scene. That means when you see John following up beside that, you're gonna see your house shot. All right then, but what did it say? Brother, again, the last part about how is that showing up? It says, uh, Whom ye delight in, behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. Uh, matter of fact, let me just start from right here. Yeah, let's start from top. Uh, Malachi 3 and 1 it says, Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord, Yahweh, whom ye seek, shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant, whom ye delight in, behold, he shall come. Self the Lord of hosts. Right now, is this talking about the time with John? Let's find out. Look at the next verse. <clears throat> verse 2. None. It says, But whom, it's like, but who may abide the day of his coming? And who shall stand when he appeareth? For he is like a refiner's, refiner's fire and like full of soap. Right. <clears throat> so that's talking about your house, child, man. All right. That's when he shows up, he's gonna be the refiner's fire. Yeah, how using him to refine us, man. See that? So that's talking about now, man. Uh-huh. That's talking about these days. You know, Yahweh showed up to anoint us and for in preparation for today. Whenever you see John, you already know the follow-up is gonna be Yahweh. All right. So now that John was here, as Elijah or Abba Bibbins, now we expect to see Yahweh showing up as the refiner's fire. Yeah. All right. Um, to deliver the ones that believe. Let's get that now, bro. Second Ezra, uh, get that fire, bro. Um, Two and thirty-four. Call me where you at. Let's get it. Oh, okay. Yeah. He shall give you all the last call out before you read all this call out. Where you at? Second Ezra. Take some getting easy, bro. This is Second Ezra. Two and thirty-four. Mm-hmm. He shall give you everlasting rest, for he oh, is yeah. not. Where you at? I'm like, therefore, uh, I say unto you, oh, yeah, yeah, come. And therefore, I say unto you, O ye heathen that hear the understanding and look for your shepherd, he shall give you everlasting rest, for he is not a hand that shall come in the end of the world. There you go. All right, so we just broke all that down. This is first. So look for your shepherd. So we're supposed to be looking for him, man. But these people aren't looking for him. Right. You know? Or denouncing them. They're denouncing them. Yeah. They say, mm-hmm. what do they say? Uh, cause the holy one to flee from before us. You know, crucify them with this. Right. Because uh, in the same, in that same book, in Malachi, is uh, is the proof of uh, basically Elijah. Because without Elijah, you know, you know, John, John the Baptist, Elijah, without Elijah, 
walking in the flesh, bearing this truth of the business, we won't be able to come into the fold. We won't have the apostles standing for this truth for 30, 30 plus years. And us to come into the fold, ultimately to still, they still be left. Right, man. So this is just more proof, man, you know, of, of what we're part of. And the joy that you're feeling, you can amplify that. Because he said, those that seek righteousness, you're going to receive that. You know, you seek a new kingdom on this earth, it's coming, man. You know, you can sit here and watch a tree die all day, or you can begin to change your way of thinking and watch stuff grow. You know what I'm saying? You, you can bash everybody, you can bash everybody here, here, here. But what happens when you decide to not just bash them, you decide to edify and build up? All right, you ain't, you ain't going to tear down, but I'm going to start building. See that? That's the Lord worry about tearing down. Go ahead, brother. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 6, verse 27. For evil shall be put out, and the seed shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish, corruption shall be overcome, mm. and the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared. Woo, it's going to be declared. What's it, what's it going to be declared? He said his elect are going to be declared. And he said what? Yeah, how is shall going to be revealed? Man, yeah, he's going to be declared. Man. All right? So, and the prophecy is going to speak. You know, once, once all hell breaks loose and, and the, the prophecy is all done, that's it. The truth is going to stand then. Ain't going to be no more truth and lies and Babylon and this confusion. This is going to be true. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Chill out. You know? He is, he is not. Jacob's trouble is real. Yes, you're in it. Right, brother? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, the experience. The book of Isaiah 31 and 4 and 5. For those has the Lord spoken unto me, like as the lion and, and the lo young lion Routing on his prey when a multitude of shepherds is called for against him. He will not be afraid of their voice, nor abase himself for the noise of them. So should the Lord of hosts come down to fight for Mount Zion and for the hill thereof. Right. As a bird flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem, defending also he will deliver it. And passing over, he will preserve it. Come on. He said, as birds flying, that means Yahweh is going to come back in those chariots. And that's mm -hmm. how he's going to defend, uh, 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 you know, the elect by being in those chariots, zapping Esau warships, zapping mm -hmm. Esau uh, uh, space uh, satellites, 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 the jets. It's a preserving. Come on. To preserve you and deliver. To preserve me, what? Save me. Uh, we're gonna keep it safe. How are you gonna keep us safe in this time, man? You're like you're gonna have to have some spiritual power, man. Mm -hmm. and, and, power man. And, and that's basically in the beginning we're saying that like like we're not gonna be in fear when we're out there teaching because that's what's gonna be in store for us. We're gonna be out there boldly, but he said when the people should come, come in, we're not gonna be out of fear because mm -hmm. the house is gonna show like the bird. I would say the birds. I had a brother that said, man. So that's our reward for doing the work, man. That's how I'm landing one. He said, under his wing, he's talking about trust. You know? <laughs> and the wing represents the chariot. We're going to trust in the chariot, man. And, and the power that upholds those chariots. That's why Ezekiel said, a hand, a hand of a man was under the chariot. That mm -hmm. man represents Yahweh Shah. So, and that word hand represents power. So his power is what, if you look at uh, Esau video, they saying they don't know what. What's making these chariots move? They don't have thrusters. They don't have engines. So what's doing it? It's the power of the Lord. So that we're gonna be trusting in the power of the Lord. So it's gotta be, it gotta be something greater to be able to uh, go against the laws of physics. Yeah, you know, uh, basically just uh, question the whole the whole way of science. You know, right. physics it means physicality. That so that sets boundaries to certain things. That's why they can't physically like describe what they can see. <laughs> yeah, that's a, those laws set balance. boundaries, bro. They set the bounds that they cannot cross. Physics, you know, spirits. Like they, they, they're talking about chair, changing shapes and stuff like that, bro. Like interdimensional, man. What is that? Like I don't even know. Like like this might be beyond anything that we can even right, right, right. Somebody get uh, Revelation four real quick. We're gonna read one verse. <laughs> now this, this right here it shows you that. Because um, it said, what, come up here, man. Huh. But he had to go into a chariot. Revelation right. spirit realm. This was the angel. Whether he went to a chariot or not, this shows you how powerful the angels are. Where they can do this for us. Uh, right. 
This is Revelation 4 and 1. After this, I look. Nice and slow. We only do this one verse. After this, I look. And behold, a door was open in heaven. Right. What they say when somebody dying, they saw the light. Yeah. All right. But he saw this light open. Right? He saw the sky open. Up. This is real. This is John the Revelator on the Isle of Patmos. They thought he was deserted. He was one of the last prophets alive. They left him there to grind a mill and grind salt in the salt mill. You know, on the, on the deserted island. Punishment. But the Lord, he said, no, nah, I got you. I'm here with you. All right, go ahead. And the first voice which I heard was as a word of a trumpet. Oh, no, keep going back up top. I missed one. And the first voice which I heard was as a word of a trumpet. Oh, Let's start from the beginning real quick. All right. Come on, man. After, after this, I looked, and behold, a door was open in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will shoot thee things which must be hereafter. And immediately, yeah. immediately, immediately, he said, Come up here. Where's come up here? Come up here, right? The angel saying this to him. He said, Immediately. Go ahead. And immediately I was in the spirit. Whoa. Mm. Woo. Yeah. Twinkling on the night. So he just went, literally went to the fourth dimension from that point. From that chariot. <laughs> well, whatever it was, he was dealing with. He told him, come up here. And once they contacted him, he was immediately in the celestial in the spirit realm. With the twinkling of the night. Yep. Yeah. Twinkling of the eye. Can we get that chain of the twin of the eyes? <laughs> Immediately. First put this 15. Yeah, 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 look good. I'm going to start at verse 51. This is first Corinthians. Uh, first Corinthians chapter 15, verse 51. Right. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment. In the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed again. Man. For this, uh, that's this one. Uh, that's you know, that's it. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, so, so what makes us corruptible is flesh. So it's going to be a new form of flesh that will not be incorruptible and be guided by the spirit. Because the spirit, the, the, the spirit is the will, but the flesh is weak, man. And 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 and, and two thirds of our people will not be able to tap into that spirit. So they're not allowed to. The body is going to have the hand of a man on uh, power. So they went straight away. How was that? Too? I, yeah. I got a priest. Yeah, right there looking at the throne. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> I, I got a precept man. we have um Rick, Rick next to that book, um that verse that says uh yeah. I heard the yeah. voice. Uh this is uh first Kings chapter twenty two verse nineteen and he said, Hear thou therefore the word of the Lord Yahweh. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne and all the hosts of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left hand. When it says he opened up the doors of heaven, so he went straight into the Yeah. Who was that? Uh, it's, uh, I'm a little bit. Um, no, who was that? Yeah. Who was that talking about? It's, uh, 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 <laughs> this is uh, first, first Kings chapter 2. Oh, oh, Elijah. Elijah, yeah. And the uh, difference with him is he didn't get taken into the chariot right there. Gosh. That was a vision. But this one right here with uh, Revelation 4. He got taken out somewhere. He said, come up in. Yeah. See the difference? And then Elijah got taken up later. Well, I was just focused on uh, heaven where he was at the throne. So oh. I like, that's when he probably saw like the throne. Yeah. The left and the right. So he went up, like, in the, you know, when that door was open, mm -hmm. he saw like the throne. Yeah. Yeah. When we got transitioned or uh, translated into the spirit room, it's like Enoch was, mm -hmm. or however it was. He saw the throne, he saw Yahweh, he saw all the angels around him. The good and the bad angels. 
Uh, what's it called? Eliza saw it as a vision. Huh. Like, this person was like there. He was huh. there. And I was down to revel it. But, um, yeah, man. So it's like a whole other system being operated out there that we don't know about. You know, the ones that died. The scriptures say there's more people in the heavens than there is on the earth. Damn. He, he, couldn't, wow. he couldn't bring everybody from the heavens on the earth. See that? So that lets you kind of understand death and not be so fearful of it. There's more out there than there is on the earth. If he was to bring everybody to the earth, the earth would fall apart. Yeah. <laughs> You're talking about a deep population. <laughs> That's it. So why is he waiting? He has to start with the first one. First Once he gives up the universe, all Israel is going to be birthed again. Until all of them come out of the heavens. And then he's going to refill the heavens with Esau. As he fills the earth and the universe with us, you know, he's going to be pulling Esau slowly off the earth into the spirit realm forever. And they're not going to have a body on the earth to come back into. Yep. For our people, they're going to have uh, a body to come back into at, through the elect, the first fruit. And those first fruits are going to what plant seeds and grow and then drop more seeds. You know, continue to create food. I got a precept. Uh, we t- when we were talking about the uh, uh, the chariots moving and not having any thrusters, what it be moved by, uh, I thought about Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 24. For wisdom is more moving than any motion she passeth and goeth through all things by reason of her pureness. And when you um, uh, do your best to, 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 to understand Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, you, you gain wisdom and you and you fear him. And that's part of his that's that's part of his power right there. Having a, uh, ha- having a chariot, a vehicle in the sky that can move to and fro without without yeah. turning. Yeah. Yeah. That can. Oh, and, right, and right. Interdimensional. right. Exactly. Exactly. You know, the fourth dimension overpowers this. We can't um, we can't go into the fourth dimension, but the fourth dimension can come into the fourth dimension. Um, that's being the spirit. Like, um, like the spirit, what's in it, what is, which is within us, is in the fourth dimension. But once that's why, as soon as we, as soon as the, the, this body perishes, that we, we're, and we're we're still here, but we're in the fourth dimension. God, God. By the way, the spirit by the way, like the balloon. Yep. 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 Yeah, yeah. And the gas, yeah, yeah, yeah. It can be from another yeah. dimension into a lesser dimension, just as uh, Yahweh Shah being, being uh, oh, made lesser than the angels, yeah. man made lesser than the angels and coming in the flesh. Yeah, he said, a body have not prepared for me. So, <laughs> so now take that mindset, what you were just thinking, right? How mm-hmm. to have chariots move back and forth without having any thrust, right? It's the spirit that's with inside. That has that wisdom that's moving like any other motion. <laughs> so ahead. think about it. We wouldn't be able to control it now because we can't. We don't. We can't control this flesh. But um, just think about it, man. Just imagine, like, if you have a righteous, uh, a righteous spirit within you, a righteous mindset, right? And you can control the elements. Because if you, if you have, come on, man. Imagine he's not being able to control the elements. He won't, he won't do it for good. So now, when we get in those new bodies. We're gonna be, we're gonna be, a, we ain't gonna see no thrusters coming out our feet when we're flying. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna see that. You're not gonna see any of that. It's like, it's like, it's just gonna, everything was gonna be a natural motion, just like I'm listening, just like how the air is. None of that. We're gonna be naturally playing with the elements like toys. I'm gonna tell my children. We're gonna, be, we're gonna be dealing with the elements like toys. That's gonna be the toys. And the candy is gonna be fruit. <laughs> You know, the fruit, mm. the trees, and stuff like that. That's going to be the candy. Oh. And the toy is going to be the animals. And it's actual science. Playing with elements of fire and water like it's toys. Avatar. Yeah, I'll yeah. Avatar. Right? Imagine Esau being the fire nation. Shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, hey, yeah, yeah, come on. Come on. That's why mutants and Marvel, we're the real Marvel. We're gonna marvel at us. We're not gonna need a TV because we're gonna be a TV. Every day, every day you wake up, you're gonna see your children doing amazing things to see each other. And that's why the Lord's scriptures say, uh, what's that? Uh, Ezra chapter two, where they say the crowns. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he was more, he was more exalted. Right before that. The president, the president. Uh, Stone, can you give yourself a club? Yeah, you know yep. God, all right. This uh second edge chapter two, verse 45. It says he answered and said unto me, the well 44. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, 
these be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of Yahweh and are they crowned and received palms. They said, I, they, then said I unto the angel, 43. Come, 43. Yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, second, 42. Come, all right, all right. Uh, second Edges chapter 2, verse 42. Yeah. It says, I edges saw upon the mountain. Let's start 41. Uh, 43. 42. All right. Uh, 41, second Edges 2 and 41. 42. I mean, 42. Sorry, damn. <laughs> It says, I as you saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. Right, that they know it's not just going to be 144. It's going to get the one third as well. The first of the one third. Bring it. I can get a sand and see. Okay. Verse 43, second edge of chapter 2. Right, because if you have a, if you have a sand of the sea, you still grab some, you still can't number all the sand in your hand. <laughs> so the only way to do that is how it's shot. That's in uh, it's rock chapter 1. Right. Right. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so just like the stars in heaven, you know. Mm. Yeah. You know. Right, Verse 43, second chapter 2. It says, And in the midst of them there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So right there. Right there, he said, What? Uh, we was exalting your house, right? He was standing in the midst of us. But, okay. brother, about to get the scripture, because by that time, we already gonna have new bodies. And then the Lord's gonna give you a crown, and that word crown represents a badge. Mm -hmm. that's, gonna be the, that's gonna be the green light. He's gonna give us the bodies. What is it? Uh, we should be here. Yeah, we should be here. We should be here. We should uh, when we see him, we should be asking. We're going to be in the clouds with him. No, we shall. That's a rough term, like you said. We, we shall let him know what to expect when we see him, but when we see him, we shall be as, as he is. Yeah. Somebody might be leaving in the comments, so you don't know. So I don't even see it on that. Um, I think I can. If I'm not mistaken. First John 3 and 2. Yeah, that was his representative. This is first John. Because by the time they saw him, yeah, you see the chariots, but by the time you see Yahweh shot him, you're going to be changed already and have your new bodies. <laughs> All right? All right, brother. It's first John chapter 3, verse 2. Beloved, now we the sons of God, Yahweh by Shema was shot, and do it not yet appear what we shall be. Right, so we don't even know. We haven't seen it yet. It's something from the fourth dimension. Hmm. We can't even imagine what the Lord prepared for us out there already. He already hmm. got our body prepared. So we don't know what it's going to be like. Everything we think, and he's like, no, I'm going to top that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that. Yeah, you got to think forever. Well, you know how long it's going to be. God, God. You know what I mean, brother? But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. But we shall see him as he is. Right? Mm. So by the time we see him, we're going to be as he is. One, we're going to have spiritual abilities. Two, those same bodies, even if he had spiritual power, the flesh would still wrestle against the spirit. So we have to be, and even if he was glorified and made royalty spiritually, we still have to get out of these dead corpses, these dead bodies. You know, they got fungus all over them and, and uh, uh, bacteria that we can't even see. Chemical and things. Yeah, everybody's been lusting after these women. I love women too. But there's a difference between wanting a woman and lusting after her. Because what you're desiring, the Lord sees it for what she is, like bugs and shit. You see all of us for what we are, like on our face. Shit we can't see. That might be like, yeah, get over here, go touch me. We unclean, you know what I'm saying? We wouldn't like just like it's like saying, like, <laughs> if you wear your clothes a certain way that your parents didn't like when they get home, you turn them, taking it off. Like, we wouldn't want to be in front of them in these bodies anyway, because these bodies are filthy. Yeah, 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 man. You know, and the new body is not going to worry about that. <laughs> you know, so um, by the time we see him, we're going to have new bodies, and we're going to have experience and use some of our power already. Mm. But then he's going to give us a body that matches with that spirit. Mm. And he said in Galatians, he put his spirit into our hearts, calling out our Father. But the wrestling, as Paul said, is the flesh and the spirit. Go ahead, brother. 
what's the problem? Two and two and twenty-three. Mm -hmm. For God created man to be immortal and made him to made him to be an enemy image of his own eternity. Mm -hmm. Right. He, he he made us to be in his in his image. But what happened was what he judged Adam, the Adamites. Because it wasn't just Adam by itself, it was Adamites, the people. So he judged them. Now, okay, what's that, Romans uh, 11? Oh, who have sinned? Uh, no, no, nah, nah, the potter. Right, he ready to Pharaoh and all that? Yeah. Because you look at it like this. Why did all this happen? Because he couldn't give us the kingdom first. He had to give it to his son. All right, it's all about how we start establishing him first and establishing the kingdom for him upon the earth in this universe that was created. And we're then creating a nation of people, which he birthed us into a nation when we came out of Egypt. Once he created us into a kingdom for the king, his son, you got a picture of that. I'm going to create you a kingdom now. Now he had to set up order, order within that. Mix it all up, anoint the most holy, send it back to the earth, off the earth, all the way until now where he can establish the order of the first group. Right. So the same way as it, as is in heaven, as it shall be on earth. So the same way in Genesis when he put the creation, right? how he created the life in the beginning, the first day, the fourth day, he the Lord, it's all the process. Yes. And and what else? As you said, he saw the spirits in heaven, some on the right, some on the left. But he had to do that same thing upon earth to set some on the right, some on the left. So that way it would be as in heaven, so shall it be upon earth. So now when he shows up, he's going to set everybody to the right, everybody to the left. He's doing a spirit. You know, but in the heavens, yeah, you can see it. <laughs> All right. So he had to establish that in the Lord's kingdom. All right. But it's all about the first fruit. I was shall be in the first fruit and the elect and the rest of Israel and the nations. And then he saw in the bottom. Uh, I got to preach that. What did you want in Romans 9? Sorry, we're children not yet being born. I'm done. Yeah, All right. All right. This is uh, Romans chapter 9, verse 11. It says, For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of Yahweh according to election might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. It was said unto her, The elder shall, shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with Yahweh? Yahweh forbid. For he said unto Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of Yahweh that showeth mercy. For the scripture said unto Pharaoh, right. Mercy is what? Giving a gift for something that to someone that uh, doesn't deserve it. Right. All right, so it's all about him. It's all about his power, his word, bringing us out of his captivity, putting us in captivity. He's showing that he's the power. Who, who, even with Cyrus the Great, I heard Mike Tyson ask a question the other day. They asked him, they said, yo, why do you study so much conquerors? And he started talking about these different conquerors, comparing himself and how he could be related to Alexander. He could be, but <laughs> he said he, he, he could be reincarnated as Alexander. everybody <laughs> Back when he was fighting, he said, uh, I, I, Alexander, I'm no Alexander. Yeah, I'm Jack Pitt, uh, young, 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 Have I raised thee up that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth? Mm -hmm. So yep. that's what it's about. We did. We stopped that. Stop. And um, so the Lord is raising up all these people to come against the, the rock of offense. And we represent that rock of offense. So the Lord is raising up all these nations and two thirds of our people to come against us so that he can show his power in us and get glorified from us. All right. And be honored. Um, let's keep going, precision. I got one second. 
Yeah, I had one of John Farns, uh, him busting in the kingdom with him. This is John chapter 14, verse 3. I'm going to start at verse 2. It says, in my father's house are many mansions. Mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and re receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And that was just what I had to bring out earlier, you know, so that when Shadu comes back and gather his remnant, we're going to be in that place with him also in our new bodies. Great, man. Man, we're gonna, by the time we see you, Shad, we're going to be like him, man. You know? That, man. All, All things right. I have done, ye shall do also. Mm. Right. right. And, 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 some, and he said when he was on the earth, he did so many miracles that it couldn't be written in the book. Mm. And he talking about now. Like, you know, now. And, and they said you couldn't even keep it on earth. Like, you all the books, you couldn't even keep it on earth. Shit. <laughs> so we're going to be doing that many miracles. It's going to be like a natural thing. That's, why, that's how you know it's going to be nature. It's going to be our nature. Uh, <laughs> so you book a million, like that's crazy. Like, all the books and 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 and books 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 books and books and books and books everything books and 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 a new form of, uh, of, of not education, but their own form of wisdom. So that's that's what Alexander wanted everybody to be be a, go according to Greek customs and be like go go according to their heritage. That's what he was trying to do. Conquer all. Same spirit of Esau. Just like how they they destroyed all our documentation when we came over here on this earth because they wanted us to think according to their thought process. But the Lord set it all up. For us to be disputed from our heritage because it just shows more of his power that we can have everything taken away from us and he can give it right back to us through the Spirit. Yes. Right. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 12. And it reads, You give a lot, you know, I can hear it. It's Ecclesiastes 12 and 12. And further by these, my son, be admonished of making many books. There is no end. And mm. much study is the weirdness of the flesh. So the Jehovah Shai gave us what we need. Y'all by Shimei Oshai gave us what we need and simplified everything in this book right here. So you know, we don't need no book of Enoch, we don't need no book of Yasher and all that and all that stuff because you, you won't be able to get the authenticated version regardless. So he gave us everything that we need in order us, for us to get back to him. All right. Hey, somebody get an Ecclesiastes. Uh... Uh, bro, bro, bro. Right, he did Ecclesiastes 9 and 12. You can explain it, bro. All right. Well, we're going to read all the way to 18. And you, uh, you can probably take over from 16. Yeah, Anytime I go to the Potter, I probably say so, Rob. Yeah. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 12. Yep. For man also knoweth not his time, as for the fishes that are taken in. In an evil net, right? Because the fishes that are taken in the evil net that represent Esau setting up a trap, and it also represents death when people die. It's like the Lord sent the angels out to take that person. You know, it don't have to be good or bad, it's just that time is up. And that the birds that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of man snared in an evil time <clears throat> when it falleth suddenly upon them, right? That's two thirds of our people, they're going to be snared. By the snare of the fowler in the evil time. The Lord said these times are evil. They're bad, bad times, man. It's night. He said, This is night. Those that sleep, sleep in the night. All right? And they're going to be caught in that snare in this time, man. Go ahead, brother. This wisdom have I seen also under the sun, and it is seen great unto me. All right, what do you say? Judgment under the sun, right? Anybody know that's how it's good? I'm going to have a little word. Let's read. Let's Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 16. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment that uh, that wickedness was there, and the place of righteousness that iniquity was there. Right, so there's wickedness and righteousness on the earth right now. 
Like his brother, our uh, Ricardo brought up earlier, he said, what application? The same shall know it after death by pain. All right, so right here, this is, this is where they come back on that earth and they live out their pain. And two thirds are set up to go through that pain, man. All right, and the one third, they're covered with the sacrifice that your house child made and he went through that pain for us. You know, so he's damn sure not going to let his elect go through that. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 14. And there was a little city and few men within it. And there came a great king against it and besieged it and built great bul bulwarks against it. Mm -hmm. Now there was found in it a poor wise man. And he, by his by his wisdom, delivered the city. Right. This is, this is spiritual. Really talking about your house out of there. All right. And even might have besieged us now. Right, especially in 70 AD. And that poor man, Yahawashai, nobody remembered him. You know, they, they didn't want to remember him. Right? Yeah, no man remembered that same poor man. See that? Nobody remember Yahawashai, just like they don't rem remember us today. Right? Zen said, I, wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised, and his mm. words are not heard. Right? Mm. So I, we represent uh, that poor man. You know, Yahusha showed up. He didn't show up with a big entourage and a trumpet blasting and army mm -hmm. to go to war. He said, this was my kingdom. My servants will fight. So what do you think we're going to be doing when he show up? Mm -hmm. It's going to be his kingdom. He said, you go and fight. He said, yo, uh, somebody that holds their sword back from blood, uh, they're going to be cursed. Mm -hmm. All right? And it starts now. The Lord is testing you to see if you're going to hold your sword back. Seriously. Mm -hmm. yeah. He said, who will fight for me, man? Right. The St. John 3 and 18. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already right. because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten son of the Howard. Right. 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 First Thessalonians 4 and 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, with the trump of Yahweh, and the dead in Yahweh Shai shall rise first. Talking about the elect, they're going to be with Yahweh Shai. All right? Mm. Now, right here, it says uh, he's going to just descend from heaven with a shout. And that word shout means to incite a riot. Shoot. To, to, to incite someone to fight. <laughs> so when he comes from the heaven, he might be like, uh, the world. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Come on, come on. Like right? no, the words of a wise man are heard in quiet more than the cry of him that ruleth among fools. Right. Wisdom is better than weapons of war, but one sinner destroys much good. Right, because in a private situation like this, somebody from the world coming here crying out that mess, they won't be heard. Just like we won't be heard in their world. If we go out and stand on stage and, and I don't know, uh, Rick Ross or somebody about to come out and we try to teach all the people, they're going to all turn against us. But let that same dude come around us crying last minute with that, 10 versions. Five were wise, five were foolish. So he won't be heard here either. So the Lord's saying, yo, you know, why worry about it? Just do the work. Worry about your side. Don't worry about where the wicked go. Worry about the righteous. You know, uh, what's that one where it say the earth try to take over the sea? You try to take over the earth. Go about the rock 18. What's that one? Yeah, the rock 18. Maybe. All right, because uh, this is all chemistry, man. I want you to understand that. And the most high control and everything. He's not emotionally attached and all that. It's all chemistry. The human just a experiment. <laughs> That's what we are. That's right. 18 and uh, mm -hmm. uh, 27. Sirach 18 27. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, Sirach 18, verse 27. It says, The wise man will fear in everything, and in the day of sinning, he will beware. Of offense, 
but a fool will not observe time. Like he will not observe time, man. What like a fool gonna be sleep? Huh? You know, like the second age of chapter nine, the brother brought up earlier. The Lord Yahweh watch me all shot. Commandment is to measure the time diligently in itself. So that's the commandment from the Lord Yahweh watch me all shot himself. You know, so that's what we're supposed to be doing. This St. John chapter 5 and 20. All right. For the Father loveth the Son and showeth him all things that himself doeth. And he will show him greater works than these that he may marvel. Uh, I just want to bring that out just because we went into the marvel. You know, we are, we are, uh, you know, being the whole fruit elect, the heart of Zah, we are part of that number. You know, we're, we're, we're going to be uh, the ones that marvel. You know, right. the marbles, man. <laughs> okay, that's spiritual power, man. That ultimately, the looks that the Lord, man. All right, we're going to do even greater. All right, uh, second Ezra 4 and 13. Yeah. And this is very important to understand, man. This is chemistry, you know. This is uh, second Ezra chapter 4, verse 13. Yeah, all the way to 18. Uh, he else me and said, I went into a forest, into a plain. And the trees took counsel oh. and said, come, let us go and make war against the sea. Right. That, that would be like Esau making war against us, right, in the nation. Mm. Then it made the part away before us and that we may make us more wood. So, so the trees and the woods are like, yo, they want to expand. That's what the natural is set up to do, expand and grow and populate. But mm. the, Lord, the Lord set a boundary between the trees of the earth and the water and the sea. That way you have low tide, high tide, low tide. But the, the, the tide will come up, but it'll still go back. Mm -hmm. The most high set that in order. You know, he got it set up perfectly. You might get a flood on the land with hurricanes, you know, but it goes right back. <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> Verse 15 of Second Ezra chapter 4. The floods of the sea also in like manner took capsule and said, come, let us go up and subdue the woods of the plain that there also we may make us another country. Right, mm -hmm. not us. <laughs> so, yeah, let's, let's, let's go get it. Let's go like Black Panthers, right? Uh, Black Wall Street. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Verse 16, second Ezra chapter 4, the thought of the wood was in vain for the fire came and consumed it. Right, that's Esau and <laughs> <laughs> so, The thought of the wood is in vain. Verse 17, 2nd Ezra chapter 4, the thought of the floods of the sea came likewise to not, for the sand stood up and stopped them. Right, so the <laughs> sand is, is the divide. Man. All right, and that's really spiritual talking about your house shot. All right, go ahead. Verse 18 of 2nd Ezra chapter 4, if thou wert judged now betwixt these two, whom wouldst thou begin to justify or whom wouldst thou condemn? Yes. So who can you really mm -hmm. condemn? Or who would you justify? If it's all chemistry, you know, it's our, it's, it's the woods' job to blame the sea, and the sea's job to blame the woods. Right. It's our job to blame Esau. Yeah. The heathens, it's Esau, and the heathens' job to be against us. Huh, really? Like our poor head hard against them. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's the father's job to be the judge in between, you know, <laughs> and to handle the chemistry to where uh, this experiment is going to go towards us now. Oh, something like positive and negative. Positive and negative. Back to that again, right? <laughs> <laughs> Got a two-minute take, take for real quick. Uh, uh, I'll give you a little precept. Okay. Clean as the say, 3 and 11. That should be it. Let me just back real quick. Oh, somebody did. Somebody hey, maybe a couple more precepts. You say Ecclesiastes 3 and 11? Yeah. 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 I might leave another precept. Like this is Ecclesiastes 3 3 and 11 He have made everything beautiful in, in his name and that's why if he would have read in his, in his time so, so he made everything beautiful in his time so that if you would have read verse 19 on, on second Ezra um, Ezra rebuttal and said there's a foolish thought for him the, the, the tree and the seeds to fight against one another because, you know, go ahead. Yeah, even, even Esau's time. <laughs> 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 they're, they're, they're a perfect <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Sure. <laughs> 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 it was so <laughs> That a beauty of the child needs excellency. <laughs> <laughs> Second Ezra chapter 4, verse 19. It says, I answered and said, Verily, it is a foolish thought that they both have devised, for the ground is given unto the wood, and the seed also have his place to bear his floods. And basically, so that so that is the balance in between. Right. So you can't, can't comprehend it. So no. Now, second Ezra is four and eleven again, uh, real quick. This is us for the letter. Yeah. Somebody grab that. Mine The second edge is for you. This is the second edge. And I last thought he just said. For the letter, how should thy vessel then be able to comprehend the way of the highest? And you can't comprehend unless you have the spirit to be able to comprehend. How can you run through the broken vessels with all that wood? Go back to the four and eleven. Seven has four and eleven. Yeah, four and eleven. Go back to the Ecclesiastes. He hath made everything beautiful in his times. Also, he has set the world in their heart. All right, so check this out. Um, who has um somebody get um uh uh first Corinthians two and twelve real quick. You keep reading that real quick. Also, he has set the world in their heart so that no man can find out the work that Yahweh makes from the beginning to the end. So it was a, it was a, it was, so it was a carnal thing between the tree and the sea to, 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 to strike against each other, right? But that, that think about it, two-thirds of our people in these other nations today because they have the what? The world in their hearts, right? Mm -hmm. But we, we were separated from the world, right? Um, bring that um. Uh, first, yeah. first Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of Yahweh Shai, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of Yahweh Shai. All right, so what about the ones, read that again, the ones that would give the spirit of the world. They're not, not going to be able to understand it. So they're going to continue to strike and beat once a month or not. Like we're not we're not bigger in the argument. We're just trying to promote the truth because we have an understanding yeah. given up to us because we don't have the spirit of the world. He have made everything beautiful in his time. Uh -huh. Also, he has set the world in their heart. All right, so now, now, they living deliciously in this time right now. <laughs> and they have, no, they have the world in their heart. Our people don't even know when they sleep, man, for real. They don't know they sleep, man, for real. They, uh -huh. they don't know this destruction about the No matter you can tell them until they, until you blow in the face. They ain't going to get it because he has set the world in their hearts. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Somebody get one want to get um, Isaiah 6 and 10. Yeah, go ahead. Just to put it St. John chapter 17 and 9. I pray for them, I pray not for the world, mm. but for them which thou hast given me, but they are dying. Man. So hey, that's again, man. The world is separate, you know, from the holy man, holy being separate, which is the righteous man, the uh, apple of the Lord's eye, you know, the elect, you know, the remnant who hosts me, the Lord is dealing with in these times and he's looking to save. Uh, 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 I just want to say a little piece like the brother was speaking on, you know what I'm saying? People are seeing themselves to be woke in this time, but they'll be on some whole Egyptology shit. Sure. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's shit. You know, that's putting in even people's sleep. You know what I'm saying? It's like being laid down asleep and getting your ass knocked out by you. So it's like you get put down even further, you know? What do they call it? Hey, what do they call it? Yeah, yeah. what do they call it? Yeah, what do they call it? Yeah, what do So that no man can find out the work that Yahweh will make you from the beginning to the end. All right, let me get this real quick. The world and two thirds heart. Let me get this real quick. Real quick. He said, he said, Yahweh shy and the elect are. Ooh. 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 And I go back to earlier when we was talking about, you know what I'm saying, two thirds of our people falling out the Esau with Psalms 40, uh, yeah. 49 and 11. Right? You know what I'm saying? The world is in their hearts. So shit, they want the shit to continue on forever. You know what I'm saying? So they find a place of rest. In a place that is not the rest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll read that. Read that real quick. Read that, read that, read that, read that. 
the book of Isaiah, chapter 6, verse 10. Make the heart of his people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their ears. At least they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. And that's just it, bro. So our people are going two-thirds of our, two -thirds of our people are going to be still fighting and bickering. <laughs> and so they're not going to be able to get it, man. So please, please read that one more time. And somebody still got that on First, uh, first Corinthians 2 as well? All right. And then come with that. And I got one to follow that in any other pieces of that. Read that again, brother. Sure. He said, can we please ask these three and 11? He has made everything beautiful in his time. Oh. Also, he has set the world in their heart mm -hmm. so that no man can find out the work that Yahweh will make it from the beginning to the end. Mm -hmm. So they ain't going to know what's going on, man. Even though we just told them. That's second, first, 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 second Corinthians, first, first Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12. Now, we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of Yahweh Shai, that mm -hmm. we might know the things that are freely given to us of Yahweh Shai. Boom. By no, but see, he set everything beautiful in his time. Again, this, this whole earth is beautiful. It, um, that's like the other said. He saw the perfect weapon of mass destruction, man. He's beautifully wicked, like to the T, like 100%. But two thirds of our people will not be able to see him as being wicked, even, you know what I'm saying? They're trying to befriend, befriend this devil because he's the, he's their authority. So, what are they trying to do in some way, form, or fashion, trying to fit in? Even with the Black Panthers, they want equal rights. That's fitting in, wanting to be equal. They don't want this whole system torn down. They mm. want to be part of the system and equal to the system. That's not how that's not how your album by shooting out shot is gonna set it up. Come on, if I may add a point on that, you know what I'm saying? The whole BLM movement, you know what I'm saying? You just had the whole Asian thing come out. Yeah, that should let you know that you're trying to find a place in this society that you can't get a spot yeah, no, inside no. they club, man. You know what I'm saying? They don't want you in there. But yeah, you know, that should let our people know something. But yeah, they still like, oh, how they get this before that? You know what I'm saying? Before us, but so what they did, okay, we'll, we'll just make June. June, yeah, June <laughs> 10th. <laughs> shit, everybody will be out here. Living it up for that shit. Like, they, asked, they asked the police to stop killing us in the street. They was like, we'll give you a holiday. Right. That's what we can do. Look, when did, when did uh, the so-called Asians, you know, which would be Moab and Ammon in the scriptures, when did they go through any type of torment or, you know, type of... Uh, well, they, 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 they took it back. See, the, cra the crazy part about it is the propaganda behind that is because they want to take it all the way back to during the time of uh, World War II with Pearl Harbor. Mm -hmm. you know, and they put them in concentration camp. But when they took them out, they gave them reparations after that. Oh, yeah. And they gave them reparations yeah. after that, right? And they still they still get it to this day. And the point, the point oh, being that it's a slap in the face to yeah. the so-called Negro yeah. Latino yeah. Native Americans, all yeah. right? Because you're going to be uh, asking for rights and people yeah. jump in line yeah. continuously yeah. in front of you. Because hey, this is not your rest. This is not your, 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 your place. <laughs> Just remember your forefathers. Uh, Y'all was born in the land of your captivity. You know what I'm saying? Because these damn uh, Moabites was not born over here with cargo, here, cargo slave ships. They came over here in planes for vacation and to buy land. And businesses. Oh, and then, willing. And then, they started, oh, then they gave them stores and they were able to live in those stores. Well, yeah, some yeah. of the agents did come yeah. over here during the time of the Buffalo Soldiers on ships and shit like that, but that they didn't go through the shit that we went through. They tried to tie all that bullshit into them having to go through. <laughs> <laughs> they got paid as agents. <laughs> <laughs> they was on the floor. And they were here during the, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, they, was, uh, they were buying up land, doing trades, putting them there. That's why a lot of them look like Gaddai, but a lot of them are really Chinese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. This is not your rest because it is polluted. It's not destroying you with even with a lot of sort of structure. And that's and, and, and the Lord made beautify the spirit of food. Everybody's chasing the American dreams. And and it, and it's a really a delusion, man, to to, to take two thirds of our people that are here in America to keep their mind off your house by Shimon Shai because he doesn't want them. They're not part of the first groups. So he made this this place as beautiful as he can make it for Esau before it to be what does it say? Uh, what is it on um, Proverbs twenty six and twelve or twelve and twenty six? It says the righteous are more excellent than his neighbor, but the ways of the wicked seduce them. So we are we're being seduced. And, 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 to, and it's so seductive that if, if it were possible, it would even deceive the very elect. Mm. This is what this place was set up to do. Well, our place, 
but this place was set up to be our bondage, man. And, and it's got it's so confusing to our people that they don't even understand that they're in bondage. So the perfect slave is one that thinks that he's free, man. Ooh. Master just let us off the porch, man. He just made the plantation business. Instead yeah, of having yeah, the plantation yeah. houses, the Emancipation Proclamation made America the plantations. Yeah. So they set up these different deterrent sites as being these jails, the ghettos. The ghetto is a prison, bro. The ghetto is a prison. No, no, even Alex Jones, Alex Jones coined it as what? Prison plans. So the whole earth is a prison now. Good. He has made the whole earth a wilderness. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It started through that dollar. The dollar became the world currency. This is the book of Zachariah 13 and 8. And it should come to pass that in all the land, save the Lord, two parts therein should be cut off and die, but the third should be left therein. therein, therein, therein. So two thirds of our, of our people, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans, are going to be cut off. my shepherd and against the man that is my fellow, saith the Lord. Smite the shepherd and the sheep shall be scattered and I will turn my hand upon the little ones. What is the oh that's oh it goes I was about to try to read that Spanish. <laughs> but they're trying to say that that's what it's pertaining to. It's not pertaining to the two thirds of our people. What what was was yeah. uh, I, I, Israelites tried to deny. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, 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 so basically, I did fractions. I remember doing fractions in third grade. So there's a one third and there's a two thirds. It, it is plain and simple, man. Go back to Amos nine and eight. And Amos nine and eight explains the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. But he made a promise to all Israel because what did he say? All Israel shall be saved. All right, but an everlasting salvation world without end. So he has to keep that promise. So we have to be born back in. Uh, somebody get Job 19 and 25. And Zechariah, night, you know, Zechariah 13 and 8, it says, uh, uh, two thirds shall be left therein. That's where you get the fraction at the two thirds, where, where it specifically says, two thirds shall be left therein. That's two thirds of Israel. Right. No, it was, it was a special egg. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, Job, Job 19 and 25. This is uh, Job chapter 19, verse 25. Uh -huh. It says, For I know that my Redeemer liveth. So we know you how by Shimei I was shot. We know you how shot coming down here to redeem us, man. But listen to what Job said. Go ahead. And that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. Mm -hmm. and, though, and though after my skin worms destroy this body, Oh, mm. no, after my skin mm. worms destroy this body, man. Mm. Yet in my flesh shall I see Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Mm. Yet in my flesh. Come on, explain that. I um this is what I try to deny. That's very the prophet. That's very the prophet subject into the prophet. Right? Huh. Incarnation. And, yeah, and, and it's gonna be manifest that they are the sons of the devil for two thirds. Huh. And what happened to they went out from us, but Our they were not of us. They were not of us. Who are they? All Israel is not of Israel. All Israel is not of Israel. We can go on for days and days. So that's that's how you know, man. That's why they were given the spirit of this world. That's why you get lined up and stuff like that. You that please ask these out again, man. Like, like that's why you begin to the So Esau, when they Got you. So two thirds, when they start falling into two thirds, they start pulling the doctrine away, saying you get haircuts, you do all this stuff that they're doing. Right. Esau is an Edomite, so they saying Esau is Esau. Mm. Yeah, look at Bocash. Yeah, 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 that's a, that was his fight. His whole fight. Oh, that just went over my head. I caught it. I caught it. Damn. <laughs> yeah, it's well, not bad. But he bad. So whatever sickness that they're wrestling with, that's what that's the doctrine that they're gonna be teaching. Mm -hmm. They're gonna start overtaking. 
He's gonna start, he gonna start, he gonna start, he gonna start saying two thirds can be saved now. Two thirds. Yep. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Not a liar. And no liar. read that first part again. The first, the first, uh, the eighteen. Mm -hmm. Who concerning the truth have air, have air, air. concerning air. the truth have air, man, have air. So they everything. What does the scripture say on on those that have not all that should be taken, even that what they have? They don't go out anymore on the streets that I know of. I haven't seen them go out. They sit there in their little home with all a bunch of screens on it everywhere, just just just. Debating, debating each other. <clears throat> um, put a uh, Isaiah 26 and 10. Um, uh, a, a remnant shall be saved, so like your Romans 9 and 27. A remnant shall be saved, yeah. A remnant shall be saved, man. Right a remnant shall be saved. So, what's going to happen to the rest of them? The ones that the ones but he said he's going to save all of Israel, he made a covenant between Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I'm going to bring this piece up real quick. This is Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. It says, I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogues of Satan. And that's also talking about the circumcision. The ones that are claiming to be of Israel, like ITR, you know what I'm saying? ISUPK, that are ones that are teaching false IUIC. The ones that are teaching false doctrines. Right? <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. My UIC. They're, teaching, they're claiming they're something to be true, but they're not, man. They're a synagogue of Satan. And they are their father's devil. Bottom line. Yeah, we know those those Jews that are claiming to be Jews are the fake Jews, are, are the fake Jews, but two thirds we got we got two thirds of in the congregation of the circumcision that are claiming to be Jews that are not. They are the synagogue that say they fake Jews too. Continue with us, mm. but they went out. They went out, so they fell out. That they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. Mm. They are not all Israel who are, who are of Israel. Man. That's mm. bottom line. So they went out from us, and they're trying to teach against the apostles, telling people not to follow what the apostles say. You know. Hey, that's why it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Lord, man. That's why we pray for Psalms fifty-one. You know. Take not thy Holy Spirit away from us, bro. because they, they, these same very same individuals once was bearing this truth and was rocking out, you know, uh, walking up on camps trying to, you know, debate. But that that, that was the spirit they was in, you know, they was in a debating spirit, and you know, some it's a, it's a time and a place, man. Ultimately, you want to be focused on, you know, the, the ultimate goal, and that's like salvation, you right. know, edifying, building up. Sirach 7 and 16, number not thyself among the multitude of sinners, mm. but remember that wrath will not tarry long. Boom, that's why you don't number yourself among the multitude of sinners. That would be the two thirds. That would be the two thirds of Israel. Number yourself out and be, be numbered to the elect. Right, so there is a separation. If there's no such thing as the two thirds, why is there need to be a sin? You might as well give everyone salvation. Right, what's that? Uh, uh, learn the song. It's Revelation song. 14. Yep. Revelation 14. Yeah, let's, let's touch on the top of the little bit. I'm going to let them know that song, man. We're going to let them know the lyrics. Right. Uh, second Ezra 2 and 41. The number of thy children, see, you're going to have a number for the sinners. But he said, The number of thy children whom thou longest for is fulfilled. He seeks the power of the Lord that thy people. Which have called have been called from the beginning may be hollowed. So the word hollow means to be separated. Mm. All right. So the Lord is going to do a sift, a separation, all right, through the doctrine. And you're going to be numbered with the wicked, or you're going to be numbered amongst the righteous, man. Yeah. Yep. And then you'll show you'll you'll see that you'll see that in the kingdom. Because 
the ones that are of the first fruits, the other ones that are born in, they're going to know they were part of the two thirds. Yep. That's how you're going to be known. But that individual, that individual, like the Lord has destroyed that character that was being wicked on this side because the Lord ain't going to want to see him in the kingdom. Just like how the uh, elder was explaining earlier. The Lord ain't going to want to see them in the kingdom. So he's going to destroy that character, take that spirit, hold it up there. And then they're going to, then the elect are going to bring them in. And then when they get born, this time they won't be born in the sin. They'll be born in the righteousness. He said, we're going to be mad at them forever. He kept them in that lot all the way to the end. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Precept real quick. Precept. Yeah, let's wrap these out and we have to wrap it up. This is 2 Corinthians. Chapter 6 and verse 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together. Uh, Lord, Be, uh, Second Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 14. Yep. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbeliever. For what fellowship have righteousness with, with unrighteousness? Ooh. And what communion has light with darkness? And what concord have Amashiach with they hmm. may be hollowed and separated. Light from dark. You know, speak on it. You know, veiling is the devil. So that's why we don't deal with the Jesus name. We don't deal with none of that church Christianity that goes back to uh, paganism. And and also there is no place of torment, no purgatory, no none of that. Because another point was brought up by ITR saying the two benefactors that were on the cross with the house shot. Talking about the one that went, went in paradise, but where did the other one go? See, and they was like, see, that's the stop, that's the foundation of the two third doc, two third two third doctrine. Okay, so what? But they didn't, the, 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 the dude, he went into the grave and he has to sit into the spiritual room. Now he's back here on this earth today to live out his judgment. That's just it. Purgatory right here on earth. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. right. The place of waiting for judgment. That's it. That's, that's, it. that's it. That's it. Right here. That's it. You know what I mean? Uh, go ahead, brother. It's Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time, said Michael, stand up. The great ark, the great prince, will stand up for the children of thy people. And there should be a time of trouble, such as never was, such as never, such there was a nation. So like it. Mm -hmm. Such right. as never was such there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Every one that should be found written in the book. And many of them shall sleep in the dust of the earth, shall awake, some to everlasting life, some to shame and everlasting contempt. That's good. Okay. So yeah, you know, some are gonna wake to the shame, and some gonna so at, at some point in time, like the elect are waking up to to, to, to righteousness. But at some point in time, y'all gonna realize y'all are wicked. Y'all gonna wake up to shame, and you're gonna be destroyed in that lot. The truth gonna stand. The truth gonna stand. The truth is bringing the bread of everlasting. Yeah, man. Meaning you're gonna have to play that out all the way to the end, bro. Right. Meaning, meaning, meaning the Lord is not gonna. It's not going to send you somewhere to, to, to be tormented forever. Like, that doesn't make any sense, man. That goes against his promise. He's going to make a way for all of Israel to be saved. It just has to be two thirds. have to get it on the back end. Right. Cool. He's going to hit you forever. <laughs> like, in, in the kingdom, the new you, like, that's right, whoever these people are, two thirds, which I believe. We'll see. But they, the Lord going to hate the thought of you forever. When you come into the kingdom and you're in your new body, you're going to say, oh, look. <laughs> they going to say, oh, the past you? No, I thought he's that much. You know, you know, you know, know the past you was wicked you know, because you was born later. You missed the life. You know, pretending to the kingdom. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, you had to come through the bones of the elect with the real one. Yeah, the elect. The elect. And the one third going to be a new founding father. Uh -huh. Wow. Right, man. How's that reincarnation feel? <laughs> 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 so with that, are you my precept? Oh, I got one. Yeah, we'll bring that up real quick and then one more. Okay, one more. And then this is Revelation chapter 14. I'm going to start at verse 1. And, and I looked and lo, a lamb stood on Mount Zion and with him 144,000 having the, his father's name written in their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters and as the voice of great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the four uh, elders. Yeah, and, and the elders like you. And no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand 
which were redeemed from the earth. So that that's the, the hundred and forty four thousand is going to be a part of that remnant. The uh, the, uh, the ones that's going to be saved uh, from this destruction, the, uh, the ones that's not going to be part of the, the two thirds. It's a, it's a number. It's a number. Oh, come on. This is Acts. Oh, it's like it's like it's just it's, it's a number that's stated in, in the scripture pertaining to the, the new government to come. All right, and the one third meaning you know the elect. So that that's that's a that's simply plain that it's going to be a few and it's done. You know everybody ain't in the in the mix. Yeah, I'll have this. <laughs> Go ahead, <brother. laughs> this is Acts chapter 12 verse 21 it says uh, and upon a set day Herod arrayed in royal apparel sat upon his throne and made an orientation unto them and the people gave a shout saying it is a voice it is the voice of a god and not of a man and immediately the angel of the Lord smote him because he gave not Yahweh the glory and he was eaten of worms and gave up the ghost. So what more is going to happen? Come like, yeah. So what more is going to happen to these people who uh, who, who denounce Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and who denounce uh, and who denounce his power as well? Right. I think, well, it's a scripture that uh, the right scripture scarcity gave, right? Right to the sinner's thing. Hmm. You know, I think that's when he came out in the all gold outfit. Come on, like, so he said, "Royal, royal apparel yeah, on the throne." It was gold. It was gold. It was gold. It was gold. It was made of gold. Like, so he was shining, dude. He was shining. <laughs> he was like, really? Carving him? God. Oh. Yeah, man. So we're going to wrap it up, man. Just, uh, that was a quick invitation. Dealing with time, man. You know, uh, time can work for you or it can work against you. Just like these scriptures. The scriptures can work for you or they can work against you. It's up to you. You know, you got to make the choice. Well, you pray to your how to help you make the choice. You know, leave me not into temptation, but deliver me from the evil. You know what I mean? So we're gonna wrap it up. Uh the call, call, that rule well and teach well, and then the elders, and shall want to use oxygen not watch the children that believe to say the truth. Around the four corners of the earth, man. Stay edified, stay in the truth, keep believing, and uh, you know, enjoy that spirit, man, of, of joy as you feel, man, for the scripture. All right. So long. So long. So long. So long.